Hey everybody, welcome to a little stream that uh, we've whipped together, we made it just for you, of a game called Immortality. And yeah, so we've got an advisory right off the bat. The movies of Marissa Marcel are presented untouched or edited and reflect the values of their times. Viewers are encouraged to check the content warning of the main menu for a description of content which may offend or upset. So we're gonna do that right off the bat. I wanna make sure that we get all the content warnings out of the way um, because I don't want anyone getting triggered and, and you know, take care of yourselves, take care of yourself. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead. It's funny because this reminds me of um, uh, the, what was it? There was a uh, content warning f at the beginning of like Warner Brothers cartoons, like uh, Looney Tunes, I think or Merry Melodies, I forget which, but it was basically this, like, you know, the this is all subject of the time. Lord Smaff, I also have a disclaimer, which is I did not vote for this game. I voted for Mothered. <laughs> Lord Smaff, we're gonna do Mothered. We're gonna do Mothered. All of the games that were on that list, I kind of want to do with the exception of maybe The Last of Us Part One. I think I'm gonna just do that on my own. Um, and because, you know, I'm broken. All right, let's do this. Before we get started, hello, first time chatter, Princey. The actual content warning is in the menu. Ah, oh, thank you very much. Let's go ahead, ah, there it is. Content warning, viewers are warned that the film footage collected here contains subject matter that may be upsetting. Stories are taken from the gothic, thriller, and supernatural genres and tackle themes and elements such as Strong curse words, blasphemy regarding the Catholic faith, sudden and surprising visual cuts and sound events, okay, it's jump scares, alcohol, cigarette, and drug use, abusive relationships, nudity, sex, blood and wounding, suicide, sexual assault, murder. Okay, that got really fucking dark at the end there. So, uh, yeah, if you're not feeling it, get out of here. Uh, yeah. And uh, let's go ahead and keep going. Uh, Lord Smath also self-cutting if anyone is wondering what kind of wounding. Thank you very much, Lord Smath. Glothra, how you doing? Honestly, appreciate an extensive content. I will take it. When you're, I have been writing that uh, video for the medium for so long. And one of the first complaints that I have out, out of the gate is their terrible, terrible content warning. It is nothing and then martha is dead was the same it was I, so already plus one great job give them a hand that's the wrong one <laughs> i i need to switch these sound uh, notifications anyway <laughs> yeah brain buster you forgot about martha is dead <sighs> i didn't i have it on my desktop to remind me that after I get the medium done, I need to do something about that game too. All right. Yeah, it's Colother. Oh my God. Oh my God. Literally don't get me started. What is happening here? What is that? What is it? You see that? Oh. All right, let's, oh. It's a hand. Hmm. All right, English, state format, subtitles on, delete progress, I haven't made any, so we're good. She's coming over. That's a dress. About. Short history of Marissa Marcel by Sam Barlow. Marissa Marcel is more than just an enigma. Born in France, Marissa moved to London in the late 60s, where she worked as a photographer's model. Her appearance in a soap commercial was spotted by a casting director and led to her being cast from Thousands of Hopefuls by Arthur Fisher as Matilda in his 1968 Ambrosio. The movie was never released. Marcel followed this up with the 1970 movie Minsky, a collaboration with her DP from Ambrosia, Ambrosio, John Durick. The movie was never finished. Marcel was not heard from for over 20 years until in 1999, she reappeared to film two of everything, reuniting the John Durek, now a successful and acclaimed director. With Durek's death, this movie was also shuttered. Marissa Marcel was never heard from again in 1968. Many thought Marcel would become a huge star, but those days, sorry, I'm already getting a dry mouth. These days, she is largely forgotten. 
A few dedicated enthusiasts have attempted to find her lost movies and floated their own theories of what happened to Marissa Marcel. Then in 2020, a breakthrough, a large cache of film was discovered containing footage from all three of Marcel's movies. After carefully uh, collating and scanning the footage, we have created this piece of computer software in an attempt to preserve this work and share it so that Marissa may live again in the hearts of audiences. Gotta, gotta figure out how to get that, get that angle in there of, wait, why is this a game? <laughs> Found footage is hard when it's a game because you've always got to have that conceit, you know, of like, oh, if, with Cloverfield, it was like, oh, this was a footage that was like leaked. Oh, my. <laughs> I think that is the first time, aside from the original time, when Jeff actually fucking scared me. <laughs> Great job, anon anonymous cheerer. Great, great job. You got me. <laughs> that is the first time you got me. Uh, hello, uh, Owen Finley Twitch. First time at one of your streams, but I've always wanted to say that I followed your in-depth videos of SH with Voidburger along the years, so I just wanted to say that I appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you for appreciating it. I appreciate you appreciating it. <laughs> yeah, no, it's that all that stuff is great, and uh, who knows, maybe in a month um, we'll know more. Uh, personally, I think what Konami is going to announce is probably Metal Gear or something other than Silent Hill related, but I could be wrong. I, I haven't said so on Twitter, uh, uh, on Twitter because I just don't know. I don't want to make a call, but I'll, I'll, yeah, I'm shooting the shit with here, right here with you guys. I don't think it's Silent Hill. Anyway. Uh, okay. Yeah. I am Lord Smith. Uh, I don't know who you're talking to. Oh God. Hey buddy. Hey buddy. Hey buddy. Hey buddy. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Calm down. Calm down. It's okay. Thank you, Anonymous Cheer, <laughs> uh, for terrifying tattletale. Um, yeah, so let's go ahead. Uh, yeah, Lord Smaff, I don't know what you were, uh, who you were responding to. i um, trying to look for it, but I can't. Uh, yes, I am going in blind. I, this is totally blind. I have no idea what's going on. So let's go ahead and start this. Although I want to click around and see how does she keep coming in. <laughs> it's like a PNG that's just floating. <laughs> oh. Oh. Thank you, Intro Save, for the sub, the Prime sub. Welcome. Oh. That. Oh. Does she just keep. What are you doing? Where are you going? Come back. Does she just? <laughs> <Are you... laughs> okay. There's got to be an easier way to sound, maybe. Interface. There we go. <laughs> Where are you going? Is already. I'm, I'm, I haven't even played it yet, and it's already. Oh, whoa, whoa! It's cute. It's cute. It's cute. Very cute. All right. Why is my name here? Oh no! Don't do that now. No, 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 no. All right. Let's do this. Immortality. Start. All right. Every piece of restored film footage from Marissa Marcel's career is organized here in a grid. Use plus and minus to zoom in and out or use the scroll wheel. Well, scroll wheel for me. Thank you very much. Move around with the left and, ah, I can't use WASD. Okay, space bar. Can I not use? Aw. Whoa, what? Oh, I guess that just changes the order. All right, well, let's go ahead and watch this one. Time. Screw.
spree the footage. One, a piece of footage is select, press space to play, and simple click on it again. It's broken. The interactive rest restoration emulates the um, Moviola machines that would have been used to review this footage originally. Click and drag in the direction to scrub the footage. Flick the to spin the reel. Spin several times to move quickly. Click the screen to press sp and or press space to pause. This is one of those things where I'm confused with in the now explanation, you be, but uh, you must be very excited. I am excited. <laughs> now you look very People always say that. I've all of you. Okay. To navigate and organize the footage, uh, Rainy Day Jewel's special Bob <laughs> me mode. Me mode. Uh, okay. Pause the footage. People always say that. You look, what, 15, 16? Maybe. Cup. Feet. Cup. <laughs> okay. So scrubbing. Information. Assuming that's going to be a mirror that it takes me to, Franny. or smoking one, or I her like hair. Art that touches infinity. This, not this. I like fucking. I just don't think it's great art. Do you want to go get a drink somewhere else? Oh, I'm I'm working. I'm a homicide detective. I'm here because we found Minsky. Dead. I particularly wanted to tell you that before everyone else to see a reaction. He was a difficult man. I guess someone will interview me for the book they write about his life. I will tell them that he was okay. They won't ask about me. When was the last time you saw him? A lot? Yesterday. I'm bored. Uh, let's go ahead and maybe info. Okay, here we go. Minsky. Also, let me know if the audio is a little... Yeah, Frontline Caster, this is... <laughs> this is already like, oh no. I'm, I'm, I'm trying... I'm gonna be positive. I'm not gonna fall. This is... I am intrigued. <laughs> anyway, uh, audio seems fine. Okay, good. Yeah, the music's... Uh, audio levels are kind of all over the place. I'll ride them uh, as we go. But I am assuming... Okay, so pause. Okay, so I don't have to use the keyboard, really. Hello? Jesus. Jesus. Jesus, why? Oh, well, I guess I should use... So that's frame by frame, huh? Wait, which one was this? Behind the scenes Ambrosio interview. Why would you slate an interview? Whatever. Whatever. How's it been working with Robert Jones? I imagine you're the envy of all your girlfriends. Robert has been wonderful. He's given me a lot of advice and, well, obviously he has a lot of experience. Marissa is just a natural, you know? We're just trying to keep up. I think I realized there's more of me in the character, or perhaps there's more of the character in me. I think as a young woman, you are expected to behave in a certain way, and there are cinematic types that are actually quite freeing. And here, the most powerful character, the freest character, is mine. It's liberating to wield that kind of power. I understand there are quite heavy love scenes in this picture. Is that something you find uncomfortable? Well, I think those scenes are there for a reason. You know, it's a part of the plot that feels important. It's not gratuitous. I think the way I enjoy them. I think more people should try it. Take their clothes off on. Uh? <laughs> oh, well, 
I'm a good Catholic girl. Making a movie is about capturing the... Okay, all right. Uh, things that are smacking me right now are um, quality of acting, which it's all over the place. I'm, I'm kind of... I'm, I'm buying her. She's kind of one note, but I'm buying it. Um, her, holy crap, that line was terrible. <laughs> that line. Re uh, anyway, uh, yeah, t uh, t yeah, cut. <laughs> I, oh man, oh man. No, this is. I'm, I'm good. What happened to her? What happened to her? <sighs> uh, information. Let's keep looking. Okay, so that's the end of it. Um. So I'm assuming in glasses and oh boy. Yeah, I am. Um, this is pretty similar to her story, uh, but it's weird because right now, uh, maybe if I get out of this, I'm just going to test it and see um, and then go to escape maybe. Yeah, there we go. Okay. And then escape again. Image grid allows you to revisit and sort images you have collected. Okay. Okay. Yep. Restoration. You got it. So sorting and then sort by image, sort by video. Yeah, it's funny because, like, there's already an element of this where I'm, I'm trying to get my mind out of this space where it's just like, look, if you're starting a project like this, it's not like you're discovering the footage, like, you know, you don't see a clip and then you watch another clip and then suddenly another file appears and it's like, well, where did that come from? You have all of it, like, at the beginning and you can look at file names and such. Like, I feel like at least her story was a little bit better in that, but this is, no, let's go back. Is this it? Do I have no more? Okay. Uh, it's a, it's a really minor, minor nitpick, but like, you know, it, it's hard f to, it, that's what I was talking about at the beginning. It's like tough. Cause like with found footage in a game, it's really hard to like kind of bridge that gap of believability for me. But um, that's the other thing. I was watching that interview just now, and it's like, I don't know. You guys tell me if, if you feel this too, but especially with her story, and it's seeming like this, it's happening in this game too, I'm feeling like he's going to wear the themes on his sleeve again. I'm feeling like, like the characters are going to overtly say the point over and over and over and over again. And I'm already kind of not feeling it. <laughs> so I I hate to get this started off on that kind of a note. But let's look. Okay. I'm just going to shut up. I'm going to shut the fuck up. I'm going to go. What are people saying? Dow the dude, her story was also weird because you could only see five videos at a time. That's true. Fat for all, quote, I like sex in the movies, unquote. That's true. It's very <laughs> Lord Smith, Tiger in Space. Shit. Uh, all right. Let's. Uh, uh, frontline caster and which was obviously promotional behind the scenes footage because it was completely different quality yes yes that was the thing about her story that like oh my god if you just had like a dp really like thinking about that footage and how it would look and how it would present you could do that in a really believable way but, but whatever all right we're gonna watch this interview this carson-esque interview and i'm just gonna shut the fuck up let's just let it run okay can uh can we tell that? Can we, uh, well, let's next. go ahead and uh, start from the beginning. All righty. Hi, Marissa. How are you? Now, you must be, uh, you must be very excited. I am excited. <laughs> now, you look very young in person. People always say that. You look, what, 15, 16? Maybe. Can, uh, 
Can we tell the people at home how old you actually are? <laughs> yes, I'm 20. That is correct. <laughs> now, we know you from the movie. That is correct. Cool. It, it is finished, right? Yeah, it's finished. Mm -hmm. Now, isn't that... I said I'd shut the fuck up. It's a fairy tale. So, Arthur Fisher, the great director, who uh, you probably know from his movies, such as Marion and uh, The Man Who Dreamed, was casting for his new movie, Ambrosio. And so, instead of casting a recognizable face, he, uh, he wanted to find some fresh talent. So, he put the word out and saw, how many was it, uh... 10,000? Oh, I think it was over 20,000. 20,000. Mm -hmm. He saw 20,000 girls, and long story short, he picked you. Yes. And you'd never acted before. Uh, not on the screen. I had uh, done modeling, and I liked the theater. Yeah. That is amazing. Mm -hmm. I believe we have a short clip here. Do you want to tell us what we're about to see? Yes, so I play Matilda, and, well, I don't want to spoil things too much. <laughs> uh, she's a young woman who sneaks into a monastery disguising herself as a monk, and then there's a lot of Drama and magic and intrigue. Okay. Marissa Marcel as Matilda, a woman disguised as a young monk. Here we go. Oh, my God. The same magic that powers this lens can also grant you what you wish. <laughs> How so? You remember the night that I was to die, when we took to St. Clair's sepulchre? That night, I performed a rite. And then a left. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. What have you done? Wow. Quite a role for your first movie. <laughs> well, Mr. Fisher was quite the teacher. Now I heard he can be quite demanding. Well, you know, he has a, an idea of the picture in his head, and um, nothing is going to come between him and that, not even the actors. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, this is <clears throat> Mr. Fisher's first film with nudity, correct? Yes, well... You know, he felt that a modern motion picture should reflect the times. And you uh, film this in Europe? Correct. They go for that in Europe, the nudity. Our, our producer said, uh, we are born naked, and if we are lucky, we die naked. So why not shoot the movie naked? <laughs> well put. He kept his clothes on. <laughs> and, uh, and the picture is out soon? I hope so. Yeah. And now, you're not in New York only to talk about Ambrosio, but uh, you're filming another picture. That's right, yes, with uh, John Jurek, who was the director of photography on Ambrosio. We're writing it together. That is amazing. You are smarter than you look. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding. So what is, what is this movie about? So uh, it's called Minsky, and uh, it's about uh, an artist who is killed, and the suspect, the number one suspect, is his muse. That's the part I play. And there is a detective investigating, and he falls for her. Well, I can't blame him. <laughs> well, he... He has a cop mindset, and it's really about the clash between the artists, how they live, and, and this cop mindset, the conservative mindset, I guess. He is um, surprised by how messy the lives of artists are. Oh, that's true. That's true. We've had some on the show. Mm -hmm. Mr. Warhol. Have you met Mr. Warhol? Oh, yes, yes, we've met. Yes, yes. we had him on the show, and he hardly spoke. <laughs> mm -hmm. Such a towering figure, and yet such a small, quiet man and person. You know, but his superstars, though, that's what he calls them, superstars. They are quite, uh, playful. Yes, we'd, we'd like to put some of them in our movie. Well, just make sure you've got a chaperone. <laughs> <laughs> what is the music doing? What? <laughs> this is... <laughs> this, this... Uh, I... I'm kidding, because this music actually plays whenever I edit in Premiere. Like, whenever I'm searching for footage and I'm, like, loading all of that, all of the footage in my library, like MP4s and MOVs and stuff. It's like, oh, I got to get that ProRes QuickTime, and then this music kicks in. So I, I'm very familiar with it. And, uh, you like New York? Oh, yes, I love it. The people are so interesting. All right, well, we've got to take a short break here. Do you mind reading this out yeah. uh, for us? Now, marvelous magic will turn the next 60 seconds into a commercial. Magic indeed. Okay. Let's get out of that one. I guess I could just kind of rush this. Well, not rush it, but you know what I mean. Let's look for some... Okay, so it went all the way and okay. Alright. Cup. Background. Zoom in. Enhance. Lady. 
Madam. Cut. Bring the billboard back up and we'll go again. Reset the billboard. Billboard Street, MOS Day, okay, not MOS. Wait, what? Whatever. All right. People have all. Who are you? Zoom in, enhance. Yes, no. No. Is he a good detective? No. Light switch, lamp, man, Z zoom in, enhance. <laughs> Look, this guy, enhance. Close to my heart. <laughs> Cross, enhance. <laughs> All right, I'm just doing this to get a bunch of footage so that we can just watch it. Oof. Stop your mewling, child. How dare you cry, idiot. Stupid ass. Oh, so scary. Still rolling. Let's get this. Stop bloody improvising. She doesn't kiss him until scene 16. Uh-oh. Can you let her have some fun? Anyway. What's this? Mr. The Lazy Zone. I, I love no Blade system. Runner as well. <laughs> I am oh, he is the guy. He's Morbius. Holy shit. Zoom in on Morbius. Enhance Morbius. No, I can't. No zoom in enhance for Morbius. Damn it. But I can on this plant <laughs> or whatever. Yeah, plant. Yeah. <laughs> uh, B roll. I love it. Maria. Uh, neck man, neck man, necking man, fun, graffiti, no, person, zoom, this guy, who's that, not them, wow, oh, it's a kiss, that's why, zoom in on you, wig, you're lucky I can't reach you through this grill, wig, no. Red hair. Wig. Nice job. Thank you. Okay, you two. Give me scene 16. From Ambrosios, you have sacrificed yourself. Okay. Uh, yeah, script. Okay. You guys got to mess around with the bitrate on this. Man! Oh, table read. I love table reads. Yo, I've been listening to those uh, Breaking Bad and um, and uh, Better Call Saul table reads. They're real fun. You should watch them. I watched one for like, I think it was season five of, uh, Better, of uh, Breaking Bad. And the fucking, like the acting, they're acting. Some of those act, it's super funny because the guy who plays Jesse, uh, uh, Aaron Paul, he goes for it and he's like, breaking down and like crying with um with walt uh and and it's fun it's super funny because like jump cut like a few minutes later and the guy who plays uh the policeman hank i forget his name but he's just like really dryly reading the script he's like not into it at all it's super funny dean norris yeah yeah thank you official hayden all right uh who are you Ooh. Apple! Apple! Yeah! Plate of fruit! <laughs> oh, I'm so I'm so glad we can go frame by frame. Oh! Alcohol! Or not alcohol, Jeffers probably fake. It's Alan. Light! Illuminate the darkness! Did I just get a Chivo? <laughs> 
<laughs> what the fuck was that? <laughs> this oh man all right all right all right gotta gotta calm down we got a lot of footage to go through now <laughs> all right uh so how can we sort this so based on photos oh the items okay well that's actually useful the items that i've clicked so if we go back to this guy and go to yes because I wanted to look at yes. I wonder what this is. All right, let's go all the way back. Minsky, okay. You guys, I, I'm just going to say this before um, we keep going. Um, I do this for a living. So if, I, if I'm like kind of falling into a mechanical kind of like, okay, what's this? What's this? What's this? The 13C, okay, we need 13B, we need 13A, we need shot one, take one. Like, <laughs> like, uh, it, know that that's just because that's the gravity of how that's where my job pulls me. So, um, it's also funny <laughs> to just be like thing, thing, thing. Oh, there's a thing. Can I click that? I sure can. It's just, I I'm having fun with it. Um, but so far I'm going to say that I'm thinking that based on an earlier comment that, uh, Marissa Marcel, um, like, I don't know the specifics, but I think I get the, the thrust. I think that this is one of those stories about how <laughs> how art imitates life and life imitates art, and it's a cyclical thing. I'm just going to say that. Let's keep going. You know what I've been having trouble fucking I'm getting Dorian Gray, absolutely. C, take two. There's a lot of Frankies in New York. I don't usually ask for surnames. If you want to see a Italian spot, that'd be like too much fun. You're talking. Do you like to watch detective? Seems like a very detective kind of kink. Would you not buff? Detectives don't have time for kinks. <laughs> <laughs> Frankie Sinatra. Her story is back with a vengeance all the time. Uh, hey, can we go again? I was out there. I liked it. Uh oh. Maybe it's also how about how actors' passions are being manipulated by the director, or maybe it's about manipulation. Hmm. We will find out. Hello, Owen Finlay Twitch. Thank you for the prime sub. You are a cool person. Let's go ahead and keep going. So that was, okay. I like this guy. I like this guy because I am this guy. <laughs> Many a clap in my day. All right, so let's go ahead and look. Maybe this? Six. Maybe this? 16A. Seven. Wait! Stop! Stop! I think I'm out! I won't tell anyone! I'm nobody! I'm okay, nobody! Stop. 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 More dish. Jesus. <laughs> Fat for all. I was going to say, like, okay. The fuck? Who just jumped in? No? You're gonna let me click some stuff, but not other stuff. But the paper fell. I guess it's just floating in. 
What paper? Okay, let's just keep going from 18 and run through to the end of 24, so the whole night show sequence. The exterior of the night show, a line forming outside, interior. Okay, how much you want to bet that there are going to be certain times, and that one was like, okay, I know where this is going immediately. There are going to be certain moments where um, basically, uh, much like in her story, like that's kind of the gimmick like with um, Sam Barlow that I'm, I'm figuring out. What's the twist? Like, what's the gimmick? What's what's he's kind of like Shyamalan in that way, where it's like, okay, in order for this to be interesting, there needs to be a moment of realization, and that's when you kind of subvert everything that's happened. And with her story, it was realizing spoilers for her story. It was when you realized that one of the people you were watching was a twin, and then it kind of added context to scenes that you had already seen, and suddenly there was a layer of intrigue with that. And I think the intrigue with this one is probably going to be what scenes am I looking at that are what's acting and what's real? Because that is a, that is a, uh, that is a thing that happens um, in a lot of movies that I've watched where it's like, okay, you're acting, but I can't tell if you're an actor, but I can't tell if you're acting and that's scary. So I'm thinking that that's probably going to be the thing that subverts everything here. Uh, and it's like, you know, anyway. Well, now I get player story. <laughs> I'm so sorry, Frontline Caster. Hello, first time chatter, Yun Midas. Uh, just came here to watch the game and what the hell? <laughs> that was a <laughs> that was a great scene to come in on. That ooh, rough. Very rough, very rough. All right, let's keep going. Uh Inland Empire. Yeah. I, yep, exactly. Yep. Mm-hmm. Yes. Yes. All right. The night show. Uh, let's go to the beginning. Okay, let's just keep going from 18 and run through to the end of 24. So the whole night show sequence. Okay. The exterior of the night show. A line forming outside. Interior. The night show. Green room. Same. Gary paces a well-appointed green room on the phone. What do you mean she's not there? Thank you for the follow, young Midas. Did you check the pool? All right. I'll try again. It's so funny because yeah. I just watched the Carlin joke about the people bus. who need to die. <laughs> it's the people who do that. Maria's second apartment. Bedroom, intercut, phone buzzes. Mark and Maria in a wrecked bedroom. Mark groggily reaches for the phone, flips it, places it next to Maria. Yeah, what the hell? No, 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 no. That's not. The okay. I thought for a second, uh, uh, Buddy Bashful, I thought the same thing. I thought that they were drinking like the the liquid they that uh, uh, barbers put their combs in, <laughs> but no, it's the color of the glass. The glasses are blue. So. <laughs> Sounds drunk and I thought the same shit. Hello, Maria. Hello. Hi, Bear Bear. I was just starting to miss you. We have been looking for you for hours. There's a PA currently climbing your garden wall. Well, that's not gonna do any good. I'm not there. Where are you? I'm in my secret place. The one you'll never find. Mark giggles. Are you on drugs right now? Have you had anything to eat? Maria squints at the bedside table. I've been enjoying Percocet a la vodka all morning. With friends like these, who needs food? Maria, for fuck's sake, take a cold shower and get down here. It's the night show, okay? I killed myself to get you sick and slept. Too wasted. Christ. Call Heather. Don't stupid she's your body double she can't do tv she did the mdas gary winces what okay okay i'm gonna calm down <laughs> but i swear to god if the same twist in her story happens in this game i'm going to lose my mind however it would be fun and clever if her story's plot was incorporated into this story that they're reading. Uh, this um, movie? Uh, yeah, one of the, this is one of the movies. So. You're gonna give me a heart attack about this shit. I believe in her. She hangs up the phone and rolls off the bed. End intercut. God damn it. Gary tosses the grapes back on the plate and makes the call. Hey, Heather, sweetheart. Bring, bring. What? Yep. Who said that? Take a break. 
Oh. Okay, she did. I, I was looking at her and her. Um, all right. Wait, what? Oh. I'm, I meant to do that. I absolutely meant to do that. Okay, we are past the midpoint and the movie has flipped on its head. We start to tear open Maria's world, reveal that it is more hollow than she thought. Amy? Exterior, LAX airport. Tarmac, later. A plane lands and taxis across the tarmac. Exterior, LAX airport. Private airfield. Moments later. Workers unload a white plastic <coughs> casket from the cargo hold Divine of the plane. Divine King Alice. The, the movie is called Their Tale. Crowd noise inside the airport as hundreds of fans press their faces against the window, banging their fists, wailing and mourning and trying to catch a glimpse of Maria's casket. The workers roll the casket towards the coroner's van. Under the window, reveal Gary and Maria incognito, watching the body being loaded into the van. Maria chain smokes, looking bereft. Gary keeps his arms crossed. I can't believe it. I can't believe she's gone. I know. I just want you to know you can be taken care of. Gary. I'm sure you're worried about the money. I'm worried about it too. The music doesn't go away. This isn't the end. Maria turns to Gary, stunned at his callousness. Gary, what the fuck? She's gone. I don't want to talk about the fucking money. Yeah, well, we're all Maria Inc. and our CEO just died. Someone has to think about logistics. Logistics? She was a person. She was our friend. If she was your friend, I'm sorry for your loss. Dow the dude, you're right. He does look like Rick from The Walking Dead, the guy in the middle. Van drives off. This this lady looks very very familiar, but I can't place her. Leaving them alone on the tarmac. She reminds Gary me of someone. Maria regretting his words. Listen. She reminds me of um uh uh oh I used to know her name like the back of my hand uh because she's uh, uh Dexter uh, uh uh Dexter's sister and Dexter, and she was in that awful remake of Wreck, uh American remake of Wreck. What was her name? Jennifer Carpenter, thank you very much, Vox Valentine. And Dollar Dude. <laughs> Why don't you come by our house later? I'll be there meeting with the team. Maybe we could find something for you to take with you. Remember, okay? Maria, overcome with emotion, can't manage more than a quick nod. Gary reaches over and squeezes her arm. Sorry. He heads back into the airport, leaving her alone. It's hard being a star. Is this a good thing for Gary? If Maria's been lukewarm recently, her dying, that's a big payday for him. Is he really that cold hearted? Um, it's good for the story if he is. I mean, it's a gift that Maria gets to see how people talk about her after she's dead. She sees that the music, the fans, they feel something. But Mark, Gary. The men in her life. The men in her life, they didn't love her with any authenticity. Maria's rebirth is a chance for her to plug into that authenticity. So let's play Gary here as uh, revealing the worst of the commercial exploitation of the artist. <laughs> I'm sorry, this all just hit me. Like, that, like, incredibly rosy way of speaking, and then the music, this shit. No! You don't have to give me an emo uh, like a, a music wow. cue. What's up, buddy? How you doing? You don't have to give me a damn music cue for intrigue. I will dictate if I am intrigued or not. <laughs> like, I like especially when it's like just watching this. Sh whatever. Anyway, I get that stories are a manipulation. Like, I I get that. I I'm not being weird about it. But the that it's like that like overt way of saying things combined with like the da da it's like a fucking marvel movie what the shit all right i need to i need to i need to chill <laughs> i need to keep playing this i need to keep going the <laughs> brain buster what the hell was that for uh fat for all can you do me a favor and see if you can click on the arm squeeze okay have a costume fitting that needed from the soccer. Uh, where was that? Okay, we are past the 
Midpoint in the movie had he boom and there's no limits are past the midpoint of the movie has flipped. Come on. We start to tear what first we start to There we go. Tarm and taxis across the This is such an unintuitive way of doing this. I don't get it. Their faces against the window. Banging their fists. Their fists. Wailing. Is it up and down? Warning and trying to catch a glimpse of the ocean. Inner warning and trying to catch a glimpse of Maria's casket. The workers roll the casket. I don't. I don't. Is it this maybe? What? There are so many easier intuitive ways of doing this. Why does it have why do the control I'm calm. I'm okay. I'm I'm okay. I will get through this. Somehow, some way, <laughs> I will get through this. I, I literally don't get Maybe it's just because I use an NLE video editor like for my job all the time. I basically live and sleep in it. And I just want to hit the right key to fast forward. Oh my God. That's, oh, thank you. Okay, that's how it works. Okay, good, great, fantastic. Plus one. There we go. All right. That. Nope. All that work. <laughs> All that work for nothing. All right, let's uh, keep going. What? No, I did. That was good. I hit space to pause, but if you're in this menu, when you hit space, it acts as an enter. And it, that's why I keep messing up a bunch of times. Oh no. I am fed up with this world. <laughs> He's morbid out. Which get out? for Charlie, take two. Action. I expected you and my Okay. Restored your appetite. I'm sad, me too. Tonight I met a girl as pure as Ambrosia once was. I wondered what it would be to be her husband. To comfort her. To listen to her jokes. To kiss away her tears. But I'm a monk. I shall never marry. And to be with her outside of marriage, to use her admiration of me to work her ruin. I could never debase her innocence like that. Like you did mine. Get out of my cell. Get out! <laughs> All right, it clearly wanted me to. I mean, he held it up twice in the damn scene, so let's go ahead and just look at it. Cue card. My sides. <laughs> Holy shit. Why does that frame rate keep wigging out?
I love it when <laughs> it's just like very, very clear. Here is an item in the center of the frame. You should click it. Fucking apple. Days. <laughs> three apples, take three. How does she look? Beautiful, perfect, all of the blessings of the feminine. Bio Apple V much. The, the, thank you for being uh, for watching. Uh, very much the visual equivalent of every other scene in her story, making a different mirror metaphor. You hit the nail on the head. Boom, <laughs> boom, and shot. His power, a radiant. Faultless complexion shows her as a weapon of God. Who's there? Only Rosario. Enter, my son. I brought some flowers from the garden that I thought you would like. Your attentions charm me. You were impressive in church today, Father. I cannot take credit for the Lord when he speaks through me, but you enjoyed my discourse. Oh, yes. I've never heard such eloquence. Well, save once. Who? When and who was this? Yourself, Father. When you preached after the passing of our late superior. Yes, I remember. You were present. You're not yet a novice, then. I was there. But perhaps I wish that God had not led me there that day would have avoided some suffering. Suffering? At your age, Rosario. <laughs> Owen Finley Twitch. This is the Morbius sequel I've been waiting for. <laughs> How could be so terrible to sever my love for you? There's the bell for Vespers. We must go. Seek me out after confession. I cannot leave your mind so vexed. You looked at the camera. God. Asshole. Amateur shit. Yeah! Boo! Why is that so loud? Are the updates loud? Uh, are the uh, notifications loud for y'all? Fucking Jesus. <laughs> uh. Uh, Rainy Day Jules, uh, I don't think at that point that he knew in the movie that, that she was a woman. A bit. They're fine. Uh, you know what? There. There. That should do it. God. Going to the end of these damn apple. things. Take three. The flower is Rosario. And action. The flower is Rosario. I click. It goes up the steps. <laughs> Popping Chivos left and right. We cut. Even Sorry. though I can't see them. I like this street, but I prefer the door on the other one. So this must be her movie. You prefer this to 7th Street? It has a little more texture. Okay. Scene 9, we see Goodman walking along, poking cop work. The alley here is good. He can duck in. Right here. I forget the name of this, this one. Goodman she mentioned back. it in the interview. Yeah. It's not. It is her story, but it's not. It is not her story. A door, you say. Better click on it. Thomas, 
Right. A clock, you say. Better click on it. A reflection, you say. Better click on it. Shiva. Scene 27 golf, take two. A wallet, you say? Better click on it. Here's my wallet. Um, you can use my card, but uh, just don't spend over 200 bucks. A ladder, you say? Better click on it. <laughs> Get out of here! Get shh! Get. It didn't bleed much. I figure the penis was cut off after the heart had stopped beating. The real cause of death was asphyxia. Given the nakedness and penis disfigurement, I'd say sexual. Gotta asphyxia. check it out. Gotta look at it. Well, I don't see. Chig the git. All right, let's find that gun one. Uh, let's go to history, I guess. Yeah, this one. Blam, blam. Blam, blam. Scene 84, rehearsal. Strange sight on the rooftop. In the pool, arriving trio of bodies. Isabella is naked in the center with her two bodyguards. Divine King Alos, you just, you just said something that... Th if I am kind of dreading this whole thing, if I seem like I'm dreading it, it is because of what you just said. Divine King Alice just said, oh dear God, the amount of clips. I know that with my job, this process can be very, very daunting. And if I see a bunch of clips, it's like, I gotta, I gotta be in like a certain head state, you know, like a mindfulness about me in order to like dive into it. This is like, I see that they're already kind of like loading me up with clips and it's like <sighs> I guess if I had the proper like intrigue going in I would want to like you know sift through everything but going in dry it's like I don't I, why am I doing yep yeah, yep yeah, exactly yes you yes <laughs> an anonymous chair you, you hit the nail on the head yeah everyone too absorbed at first to see the elevator door opening Onto the roof. What the fuck? Blam, blam. <laughs> Fat for all, Jesus Christ. Tries to rush past that was, Maria you nailed it. You nailed Isabella it. Isabella turns and swims for the other side of the pool. Maria dives in and slices through the water like a bullet. <laughs> Maria puts on the pressure, strangling her with her bare hands. Isabella's too weak to fight her off. Isabella's arms drop. Her eyes widen a moment of clarity before her death. Oh, you. Oh. In this bloody water, Maria is baptized, ready to be reborn. She moves slowly. Sacred water sinks underwater. <laughs> Steps out of the pool like she's being reborn. She walks away, and we hear applause. Thank God. Feet. <laughs> I can't. I can't click on nothing. 
All right. Uh, let's go ahead and... Yeah, I already clicked the gun. There's another ladder. C-stand! Can I click the C-stand? God damn it! Ah, I can't click the C-stand. Shit. I can click the ladder. I can click the chair. Oh, you know I can click that chair. <laughs> this game should be called, what can I click? Can you click this? No. Can you click this? Yeah. <laughs> Scene 45, rehearsal. By the way, I meant to ask, do you guys like the 60 FPS stuff? I, I, I thought, uh, Rachel said that she likes 60 FPS more than like 4K, so. Thought maybe you guys would enjoy that. Let me know. All right, first let's just run through the whole thing, feel it out, Terry. <laughs> if you click the unclickable, the game just ends. Says Desert Monkey. <laughs> or Dessert Monkey. Oh my God, I'm so, no, I'm so, I'm so. You. I definitely had too many downstairs. Ah, cool. You all like it. Good, 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 good. C stand. <gasps> C stand. C stand. God, fuck, shit. The one thing that I want to click. I can't. Oh, I'm so mad. Why can't I click the C stand? That's right. Okay. I can't click the C stand, but. You get close. But I can click the cup. Fuck. <laughs> it's the most mundane shit. Damn it. <laughs> you know I can click that cigarette. Uh, let's see. We're rolling. There we go. That should be better. Alrighty. Uh, I guess we'll watch this one. What's your real name? That is my real name. Carl Greenwood Jr. My father was Carl Greenwood Sr. Sounds like a movie name. Didn't until I became a movie star. <laughs> Before you said there can be too much freedom. Yeah. What kind of freedom? Not here for now. Not here for now. Even... <laughs> okay, so Terry, keep up the JFK. The dregs of the party, you're chatting. Has Rehearsal scene 43 through 44. <laughs> Frontline caster. It's an endless series of glasses to click on. <laughs> okay, so Terry, keep up the JFK. The dregs of the party, you're chatting. Heather nods off. Me. Boy, this has been fun, but I think I'd better call it a night. Oh, are you sure, darling? We have another round on the way. That's okay. I'm already regretting the last one. Well, all right. What kind of fucking party is this? <laughs> <They're>, <laughs> hold on. <laughs> hold on. It's like, what were they doing before she nodded off? What is going on with this music? <laughs> what am I supposed to feel triumphant about right now? You're chatting, Heather nods off. Yeah, they're not doing anything. It's just like, <laughs> oh, this party's great, guys. <laughs> but I gotta go home. Boy, this has been fun. Like, everyone's just silently staring at each other. Are you sure, darling? And then someone's like, well, I guess I should be going. <laughs> the last one. All right. Go get your beauty sleep. Not that you need to. Remy Reedy, um, yeah. Uh... I am, I've got things that I think are happening. Like, you know, the thing that I already stated before about like, oh, there's this subtle thing going on here um, about, um, although it's not, well, about whether the footage that we're watching, certain foot or certain scenes that we're watching are real or fake. And it seems like that drowning scene is alluding to that. Um, 
but the other thing that I'm thinking is uh, the movies. I mean, it was the same thing that I said before about reality imitating art and art imitating reality, kind of being a back and forth. The other thing that I was thinking about is um, uh, the all of the movies are kind of interconnected in a way, and uh, but they're interconnected not through the stories themselves, but the character, the the main character of Marisa, Marissa, Marissa, I forget her name, Marissa. Sure, that lady, this, her, that. Hold on. Yeah. No. How do I keep? Yeah. So anyway. All right. Come. I'll walk into your room. Warbius. <laughs> have a cocktail when I get back here. Don't be too long. Nailed it. That has never been my problem. I... Do you see it? Do you see it? You know I'm gonna click on it. I'm gonna click on it. You can't show me a golden microphone and not have me click on it. You for the lady? Mm. Oh my gosh, thank you. Well, careful though. Like Scarface says, you should never get high on your own supply. Because you sell soda. Oh, oh! Well, actually, it was uh, Elvira Hancock who said that, not Scarface. Michelle Pfeiffer? Huh. We're back in five. Lesson number four. two, don't get high on your own supply. <laughs> that, is, that is a great impression. Oh, you liar. <laughs> no, that, that is great acting. Do it again. Michelle Pfeiffer and Scarface. Oh. Folks, Marissa is going to debut a, a brand new talent just for us. <laughs> it's, it's terrible. No, but... it, come on, you can do it. Hey, uh, lesson number two, don't get high on your own supply. Oh my gosh, <laughs> Michelle Pfeiffer's gonna have me killed for that. <laughs> Big laugh from the crowd. We should do this for real sometime. Marissa, not, not Maria, or sorry, Heather. I'm sorry, I just read my pages on I think John has some notes. Oh yeah, okay. Are you? No. 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 Did No. <laughs> Did he do Is he Oh, I'm holding I'm holding I'm I'm holding it. I'm holding it. I'm holding it. I'm holding it. I'm ho no. No. <laughs> if he does this again, if he does the same damn twist again. Oh. He can't. He can't. He it's a fake out. He can't. He can't. No, no, uh-uh, nope. All right, let's look at the beginning of that one. You know, when I do my live show, we just do the one take, and then we're and then we're done. See, this is a good example of what I was talking about. You come into the middle of this, and it's like, oh, it's kind of a, um, you know, this seems real. It seems on. It seems like you know, this is part of uh, this is a real thing. But I mean, this is you, also you look at it for like a second, and you realize, like, wait, if this was real. Coming off. Like why? Why is the camera angle like this? Like big tour. And then it, you know, I'm I'm anticipating more playing with this, you know, do my which to be honest, I'm okay with. Um, I'll give me more of that. But the, you know, let me watch the clips and try to figure out whether it's real, whether it's acting or not. That's fun. Bravo, take three. Action. What if triplets? Oh my god, <laughs> buddy bashful. Thank you so much for coming on. Thank you for having me. Okay, great. Well, so how are things going? You're just coming off. Is of this between two ferns? Yeah, really big. Okay, okay so um, are, you, are you getting back into the studio? I'm trying to be, but, you know. I don't. Spicy Minton. Honestly, Bob, I think you're putting more thought into this than Barlow did. <laughs> See, that, that's the kind of trap that... Um, uh, that these kinds of games are are made for or these kinds of artistic endeavors are made for it's for people to like read into them but there's a problem with that because if you you can do like you can have anything on a canvas and people will read into it and that's a good thing but it also can be a bad thing it, you know bringing your own you know baggage with you um it's it's good uh, you know it it is what it is it, you do what you do because you, you you're you have your own perspective you can't control that and that's fine but 
there are, there are situations like this where I feel like this is kind of what Barlow does. And I, again, I'm not like too strong. This music, holy shit. I'm not, I'm not, I don't feel strongly about him one way or the other, but it feels like this doesn't really, it's, it, it's like what I said before, it's wearing what it's saying on its sleeve, but it's also kind of like, it's leaving things open to interpretation in a way that makes me feel like there wasn't really much intention behind it, I guess. Like, I get the format, I get the framing device, I understand the found footage aspect, but there are a lot of things that I, that we have come across so far that are more like, was that intended? You know, what what is the intention here? And obviously we gotta keep going, so I'll keep going and we'll figure it out from there. Uh, Spider hyphen man telling lies was pretty straightforward if you put it all in order. Yeah, but I think that the thing that's happening here and what happened with um, her story is that it's not so much about putting it in order. It's it's more like, you know, there are certain themes and subtexts that goes along with it that you're inferring. But that's also one of the funny things is like there are certain things in there where the implications of what he's like showing aren't necessarily like... I don't think that they're what he intended, but you know, I'm also speaking for me. I can't speak for him, so I don't know what his intentions are, but that might also be what the point is. We'll find out Well, yeah, I love next time on music. immortality. What's the name of this game? <laughs> Sorry, I don't think I'm doing this right. Can we start over? Uh, you know, well, let's take a sneak peek of the video for your new single, two of everything. Oh, uh, okay. Does that sound fun. That makes sense. Oh, Spider yeah, it's now. really great. Uh, great. Uh, take a look. Maria, what's going on? I'm so sorry. Is it the tea? The tea? Yeah, I know you have a special green tea on your rider, but the PA could only find the regular stuff. It's a short short. Oh my god, no, I don't care about the tea. Okay. I'd prefer a soda. <laughs> Seriously? Yeah, uh, honestly, I, I drink way too much of this stuff. My dentist says it's awful. I have one in the fridge down here. You have a fridge under your desk? I do. It's a little one. That's so sick. Thank you. You could live under this desk. Oh, I tried my way. More music. <laughs> hey, Brian. Thanks for the sub, buddy. Brian's my brother. Thank you. For the lady. Hmm. Oh my gosh. Thank you. Well, careful though. <sighs> like Scarface says, you should never get high on your own supply. Because you sell soda. Oh, <laughs> oh! Actually, it was uh, Elvira Hancock who's Hancock who's Hancock who's hair. So this is this is the kind of stuff where I'm like, okay, more of this, please, more of this, because there's a moment in here where it's like they drop. I'd prefer a soda. <laughs> yeah, here. I need to click on that lady. Uh, great. Uh, take a look. So here. Maria, what's going on? I'm so sorry. Is it the tea? The tea? Yeah, I know you have a special green tea on your rider. But then this, it seems like this is like, oh, the, yeah, they broke character. And this is more like BTS type stuff. But the interesting thing and I gotta click on that soda. This music, what the fuck? Why? Cause you sell soda? Oh. <laughs> but um, yeah, it keeps flowing and then they call cut. So it's like, oh, is this, this is in the middle of the act of the scene where when you're brought into it, you think it's a behind the scenes thing. There's a moment where it drops, but it's really, you know. Anyway, also, I also love how all of these clips revolve around like an item and it's like super, so brutally freaking obvious what you gotta click <laughs> oh soda did you say soda should I click on the freaking soda oh my god can I not click the soda maybe the cup when she hands it when he hands it yep okay. tea tea Getting dead. 
It's a lot of stuff to click on. I'll take that. What are you reading? Uh, embezzlement and white collar crime. Oh, that's no fun. They're the real criminals. <laughs> I guess I like a juicy murder. Okay. Oh my god, I can click on like half of these. Christ. Salt! You know I click that salt. Do you think your audience will read something into your playing them to yourself? This is the sort of thing audiences tend to do. This whole place, don't assume I did it out of arrogance. John Houston played no one in his own movie. That was clearly sugar. Shit. But Got done me. That before. You know, with Dolores and Tisa, this movie and these Johnnies. I'll assume I'm sleeping with you. But you're a terrible man. <laughs> ah, look who it is. My handsome co-star. Long time, no see. Paul? What happened? I'm really excited about this movie we're making together. John. Marissa. No. I wonder what I'm supposed to read here. What the fuck? Movie we're making together. What? Can we look to oh, what? Excited about the Hello? Do I gotta like hold on. Hold on. Sarah. <laughs> What the hell? No, I... Is it the watch? No. What the fuck? What happened? No, I don't... What happened? Oh, is it not showing up now? I'm really excited. I'm really excited about this movie we're making together. Okay. Okay. Of course, when I hear the vacuum cleaner, <laughs> which is the sound that I'm calling this. Marissa. What? There. I... Okay, I can't. Is it telling me that I should click? Okay, so now I can click on. Oh, click on him? Maybe I'll click on him. All right. After photography, he paints with light. We're rolling. Good to go. Sure. Wait, why don't we make it cute? Follow me. This is yeah, if after all, I don't. He's the director of photography. He paints. I'm gonna have to mess with, with it. Why don't I go here? You shouldn't die if it's that way you are. Oh, no. Careful with her. You can extract a confession out of you. She's very persuasive. You're lucky I can't reach you through this grill. How is Yeah, I already saw that. All right, so we should go back and try to figure out what the hell is going on there. <sighs> is it? No. History? Based on the movie, I assume? Because he was. Is this it? John. Yeah, that was it. Marissa. Sarah. No, I. Can we move to the 
Okay, I get what it's doing. I get what it's doing. And then she opens her eyes right there. So forward. There's something it wants me to click on. I guess I could click on him. I'll click on him, sure. Why? Why not? Yeah, uh, frontline caster. I clicked on the watch, but it's 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 a it's a mask that goes a little bit too far out, and it's it just clicks on his face. What do you want? The other guy's face. Are you in love with Marissa? Are you really? You have to let Olga go. But what then? Drink the coffee and go. Cut. You want one with the background? We have them here. No, I like seeing good little ones. Background being, uh, if you're not familiar, uh, background actors. <sighs> All right, I'm gonna have to favorite that damn clip. There it is. All right, so favorite that. I can delete some? That's funny. Yeah. <laughs> All right. See, it's weird. It does go, like, right here, but it goes into his face. Okay. Direct me. Okay, let's get on the tomb. You, uh, get on top. How are you going to convince Arthur to include this? I'm going to go straight to Gino. You're naughty. It's for the picture. All right, we need to see Matilda transformed. Mm. There are pleasures this body can give to you which you cannot imagine. Exactly. All right, make it look like you're fucking him. Can she? Can she? Fuck him. She's the devil. Can't she change her shape? That would be a different movie. All right, let's roll on this a while and then you uh, finish with a big orgasm. <laughs> if makeup were here, I'd have him spray you down. Oh, I got you. Perfect. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> Hello? Hold on, I, I, I want to do that. <laughs> Give me a sec. <laughs> Hold on, hold on. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, I need to do that again. Reverse fucking. Here, I'm gonna I'm gonna redo your uh, anonymous to your uh, bit donation. Ready? That's the song you fuck to. That's the song. That one too. <laughs> I'm acting. <laughs> what? You can't tell if she's not acting or not? You'll need to do more than just lie there. I've, uh, I've never slept with an actress. Bullshit. Well, I've never slept with the director of photography. No, not on camera. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you stay out of shot, put it in the movie. Fisher will never know. It's crap. Make it like I'm fucking the camera. <laughs> <laughs> Make it like I'm fucking the camera. Get it? Rehearsal, scene 31, Olga's apartment. 
team of two detectives and Ruby are searching the place. Ruby points Goodman to a collection of photos on the wall. Art appreciation time. Collage of new and male body parts with Minsky's face on it, where the genitals should be a splash of red. Does this work as a confession? It's art. Also? Look, it's piss Christ. And a knife, an item being held up in front of the camera. Why? I think it's time to click that shit. Sounds like a movie name. <laughs> Before you said there can be too much freedom. Really? What kind of freedom? Uh, sexual freedom. Political freedom. Financial freedom. Mm -hmm. I feel like society needs some limits. Rules. I don't mean to be provocative, dear, but I wonder if it's seeing other people have freedom that worries you. Is this, uh... Uh, how many women have you bedded, Carl James? So, an annoying thing has happened. Um, another annoying thing, besides the music, what the hell, <laughs> is... Every time there's that vacuum cleaner sound, it's like, oh, you didn't trust me to navigate the footage myself you are overtly telling me hey you hear that stop pause look around How many times has that lady leaned in with the uh, martini? Is that the discriminating factor here? It's like that's it. Oh. No. Well, watch, let me be able to click it. Click it. No, damn. Maybe the. I think it has something to do with her. Maybe the lamp, the watch. She'll sing happy birthday. I guess. You ready? A good, good, good To you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. Birthday, Mr. Hessenberg. Happy birthday. Happy birthday to Yes, I know. I know what that's referencing. Thanks, Mr. Hessenberg. Mm. All right, so cups, window, but the window's there the entire time. Maybe it's just her. What the? Oh no, it's just chair. What is it? that chair or glass? Or table. Oh, they love making montage, ladies. Mm -hmm. Sophie excluded. Uh, it is our obligation here to proceed mathematically and explore all the configurations of coupling. I will sculpt. Talk of the. 
All right, settle down. Bella? Scene 14, free eyes up. Okay. We start looking at Ambrosio, and we... <sighs> Oh, man. Antivellum, thank you for the follow. Thank you very much. Sorry, uh, I'm, 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 I'm uh, messing around with different... Maybe there was something in here. Oh, right, I wanted to test something out. Because there's a way... What, can I not click on the favorites what okay, what that's a favorite okay so I can't have to what that was weird anyway okay so I'm gonna test something out what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna see if I when I fast forward all the way back also, hi, uh, Billy Mandius. Thank you for uh, first time follow. It's from a famous thing. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it was. Uh, I'm going to see if I can uh, fa fully fast forward all the way back to see if we get that little um, mirage or that little fade in. So let's try it. Okay. Seems like we do. Yep. We totally do. Okay. Good. Good. Yeah. The UI broke on me. That was weird. All right, so where are other places that we saw it? Um, the sex scene. Yeah, this guy. Well, hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm gonna favorite that. Yeah, okay. And there. So her... Candles are always there. Maybe it's just her. God. <laughs> God damn it. Ooh. Vacuum clean is really going crazy now. Oh no. People sell their immortal souls all the time because very few of them really believe in such a thing. Everyone knows they're going to die. Faced with their imminent death, I've seen so many. The beauty of humanity is in its being finite. You know a rose is beautiful because it only blooms for a short while. But are surprised to learn you are roses too. Okay. Okay. Give me a treat. You got it, buddy. I'm so confused because we were watching a different clip entirely. And I know that she wants us to click the damn rose, but... All right. Jesus kissed Lazarus's cheek. I need to go back and look at the other ones too, because I think the reason that happened was because I clicked play immediately. Wait a minute. No, I think I... Hold on. If I rewind... What? Oh, shit! <laughs> oh, okay, that makes things a lot easier. Uh, if you pause it and then hit uh, the eyeball and then you hit left and right, it just cycles between, between all of the things that you can click on. Okay, all right, cool, fine, sure. 
Thank you. Thank you. Nothing. All right. All right. Where was that clip? Dude, how did you get in here? Okay. That's what I thought. I, 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 I fucked something up. I don't know what. By clicking on her. All right, so. Yeah, I think I messed it up uh, because I really, I'm really confused as to what just happened. Uh, uh, what's everybody saying? It's like the tab in the Flash game of Newgrounds. Yep, yep, you got it. <laughs> Absolutely. Uh, twin demons. <laughs> Cutest sphere. Yep, absolutely. Rosario. Yeah, exactly. It's like, oh, really, really going for it, aren't you? Anyway. How did I do it? <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry. I'm going to have to do this a bunch. Uh, so do I click? Because there was some way that I... And then I, hold on. Okay, and then. Damn it. How did I do it that time? I don't know how I did it. Do I just watch the whole thing? All right, so. I'm so confused. Yeah, and then. I'm so confused. <laughs> I don't know if I made this clear. What? There are two places to click? Got it. Cut. Don't right, I was hearing the vacuum cleaner at the beginning of that. One place to click makes it easy. I'm Andrew. Andrew Hessenberg. I saw you on TV. Oh, yes. I'd like to avoid the spotlight, but shit happens. On TV, they said you had the most expensive residence in all of New York. That's right. Can I see it? Are you a prostitute? No. That's what a prostitute would say. I love using the, the cop thing. Oh, pills? I wonder if I should click the pill. Should I, should I click the pill? What do y'all think? Vote if you think I should click the pill. Should I, should I click the, I'm not, I'm clicking the pill. Hello? Visuals. Hi, Bear Bear. Huh? Two of everything you say. Extreme symbolism. As a friend, I see that you are upset by something. There is little that can be done of it. So let on map. I'd like to get a close-up on my wrist. Right. Right. 
It's too much. You'll get us arrested. Are we cutting? Yes. <laughs> Her eyes, huh? Alright, let's do it. It's dead. Cut. Got it in one. Moving on. Sure. Seeing 58, bro. Maria's dead. You can proposition me. You argued with him yesterday morning? I heard it. There it is. Maybe that. Ugh. Send them back how many times? Four. They just couldn't get them around enough. Oh, they think I'm a monster. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, no, they love the monster. It's part of the package. Mm. Here's what you need to know about this town. Everyone is trying to take advantage of you. Everyone. Yeah, I thought so Mike too. Down Ink down attack. So I'm going to go back and check that. But the thing about it is that Mike was there the entire time. So it's like when I'm watching those scenes, I'm looking for the differentiating factor. Like the, the, the thing that is different about this specific moment that's the same or that's, you know, in opposition to the other elements in the scene. And the mic was always there. So you get the door. Oh, <laughs> All right, listening for it. Oh, Phantom Chivos. Oh, yeah, this. Yeah, all right. And then it probably is doing it on this dress scene, maybe. Can we chill with the trumpets? Whenever that happens, am I supposed to click on her face? Okay. And I guess I'm supposed to click on her nose. But I need to go back to that one, back to the last one. Do we need it? How did I see it in the reeds? We can just pick this up in the close up, right, John? Yeah. Marissa, cut. Yeah, so, hey. Not yet. 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 Not Yeah, 
the fuck? Oh, what? <laughs> the tiger in wig. <laughs> there is nothing more cinematic than a kiss. Kiss, 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 kiss. kiss. <laughs> okay, no. And I thought you liked blue movies. All right, this is the part where I feel like I'm on the wrong track. I have an idea. No, actually, that wouldn't work. How did I trigger it in that one scene? How did I trigger that? I'm so confused. It's so weird that it just happened. Also, this one feels strange because she's clearly added in, in post and trying to... Uh... There it is. All right, am I supposed to... Am I supposed to... Because you can go frame by frame, so... Why not, I guess? What the hell? music though That's, do you want me to click on the rose I guess pillars plant it's a lot of shit to click on <laughs> I'll click on the flower I guess Action. if I need you Miss Hilda I will call Ambrosio has not lost that's fun you made me do oh you damn cat you hungry too many divas in my life How did I do it that one time? I don't. Trash can, maybe? Let's go for it. Hey, good, miss. Or I guess that was a cup. Miss Perkins, you can flirt with Carl now. Okay. <laughs> hey, you need some change? Buy your brother a shirt. What is... <laughs> yeah, I love this music. It's so great. So quirky. Uh, what is chat saying? Um, I'm legitimately like... I'm struggling right now. <laughs> I'm trying to find... 
the the music is so ridiculous. Like it's hilarious. All right, y'all want to do the cat? Yeah. All right, we'll do the cat. Let's do the cat. All right, where was it? Nope. Is the one where they were in her apartment. Why did I? Okay. I got an achievement and I don't know why. All right, where's Cat? I gotta come back to this one. I think, yeah, maybe not. Where is it? Is it this one? I can scrub, right? That's a no. Well, actually, yeah, this is the... I did want to check this one out. Holiday keeps the doctor away. If you throw it hard enough. The apple and snake were mine. What the fuck is this? Is it just like random? A Delta, take two. I think the snake loves you. Dial the dude, something unintuitive this game does is that it saves the last frame of the clip you were watching as the thumbnail. So if you were watching it earlier but wanted to go back to something, it would probably be hard to find. Interesting. I see what problem they're trying to solve with that though, but. I see the snake loves you. I wonder if we should click on the snake. Action. Well. Let's see if anything pops up. No. Action. All right. Are you a buyer? Cut. Tail sleep. See in 3D, take two. I don't even know your first name. You don't know who I am. You don't know anything about me. I know you. No, you don't. You want to know who I am? I'm the one who killed Minsky. <laughs> I told him I was going to leave him. <laughs> he told me I could only leave him when he said. There's supposed to be audio. Yeah, 
Yes, the answer was yes. Okay, so the thing that I've noticed is that these clips no idea what you are. are in reverse, so when I play them forward, it's reversing them. He thinks you're his. tied off screen. His face is covered in plaster with a breathing tube. We sit on this strange face for a while. The fucking music! <laughs> what? <laughs> Above this, we have titles. <laughs> Mr. Director, are you sure you want this naked? Of course. Run it. Let me tell you, there's nothing erotic about a naked man. You think? Male body looks best clothed. Well, the female, it's another matter entirely. I disagree. I made a lot of movies, John. So I have some experience here. We're making a different type of movie. <laughs> it's always shock value at first, and things settle down. Seen a few new waves in my time. Thank you. Thank you for the clap. Clap is so... That's one of those phrases that only uh, has completely different uh, meanings in different contexts. Thank you for the clap. Uh, <laughs> I know we're supposed to click his face. Um, there we go. But, um, yeah, it... Uh, it's easier now because you can use software to get around it, but back in the day before I had an app like Pluralize, man, need that clap. <sighs> Mr. The Lazy One, yeah. I mean, I'm okay with games that are like, you know, playing with the idea of what is a game, you know? I'm cool with that. I like that. But this is like... Are you a buyer? It's like the point is that there is a point. I'm a cop. And that's it. That's it. It's like, oh, there's a point to this. What is it? And just, I'm... Uh, it's like... Marissa? There's a bunch of other stuff that, uh, whatever. I am withering. <laughs> Vash was taken.
Let's see. Uh, and then I gotta go and click on that cat. <laughs> what is this game making me do? <laughs> and then I gotta go click on that cat. Cut percent. <laughs> Oliester Pimp, what is this game even? It's rough, is what it is. It's rough. Is happening. <laughs> All right, nothing there. Um, let's go back to one. Yeah, where was the where was the apartment scene? I can search by. Okay, clip. Was it this? <sighs> Make me read the letters to him. Thought I could learn from Olga's example, even after he abandoned. Even after he abandoned her, she was devoted. For both embryos, it's not that movie-like games are bad, but this one feels like it would work better if it was just a movie. Yeah, there are a lot of like games like that, where it's like, but here's the thing about that Barbosa Embryos is that the idea is playing with the database here. Like that's kind of the core. Oh, he made me burn the you know, I, I'm I'm saying the obvious, but the the kind of, you know. Base. The idea I saw at the gallery. behind this is more the evoking the sense of discovery. I guess it wants me to click on that. You know, it it's it wants you to Oh, it's just a picture now. Man. And that's novel, you know, oh, not novel. That's that's worth trying to do. Like, it's something that my favorite game, uh, The Outer Wilds, did, you know? it's just, The whole point of that is discovery. Like, holy shit. Oh my god, I just figured it out. But the problem with this game is that it just doesn't have, like, oh, that drive, that, like, mystery. That For me, it's, it's just like, oh... I already think I have an idea of what's happening and I've had the same idea since the beginning and nothing's really changed. Like the idea is you need to change it. Like what make me feel different things. And you can't just throw like music in there. That's like, you know, eerie in one, one second, then well, hunky dory the next. It's just like, let you have to let me feel that so that I get impassioned to figure it out. I'm just, I'm not digging it. I'm I'm really struggling, y'all. I I'm I'm giving this a fair shake. I'm trying. This is this is rough. This is All right, I'm going to shut up. I'm going to keep going. I've been quiet. I just I feel like I needed to say something. Dal the dude says, "It's like this game wants to prompt the player into an aha moment, but everything you click on is treated with the same level uh, level of levity, so it feels like uh, so it seems like no matter what you find, so it seems the same no matter what you find. Yeah. Um, uh, Link Attack 21, the joy of discovery, but without the compelling mystery. Exactly. You got it. You nailed it. I, I have a problem. I'm too ver verbose. I, I need to, it's one of the reasons why scripts and writing for me is hard because it's like, 
I have a hard time and I have to be in a right mood to really like kind of lock it down. So anyway, yeah, you're the same too, dollar dude. I feel you. I feel you. It's hard. All right. So this didn't have anything. All right. I'm going to test this one. What the? Drop. What they're doing here, what they just did. Drop. That's rough. Yeah, you can use that as a plate in reverse. That's that's what that is. It's a plate. Anyway, uh, all right. Maybe I can click on the book. Oh, we could. Turns out. All right. Take two. Symbolism. God, I fucking love symbolism. Uh, Vash was taken. I love this shot because big head, oh, tiny lady. <laughs> All right. Orange. Was Frank need one too? Well, actually, sure, let's do her. Scene 84, rehearsal. Strange sight on the rooftop in the pool, arriving tree. Yeah, and then sh blah, blah, blah. Uh, all right, uh, moments or whatever they're called. Um, shit, where is it? I want to click on the kitty. Is the key no see okay this is a problem because I, I legitimately don't remember what the thing in the kitty clip I clicked on I could click on choose between them and you. I had them burn you. Also, I'm sorry, but every time I see uh, this, <laughs> every, every time I see these these people, I think of the uh, I think of the main uh, of, of uh, what was his name, uh, Bowser, in the Super Mario Brothers movie. <laughs> like I I just it just happens. I can't I can't not see Bowser. <laughs> uh, Cutisphere, Bob, would you like a hint? Or is backseating a no-no? Cutisphere, give me a bit. Um, I will ask for help if I need it. Um, I don't want this to take forever. I would love to kind of, you know, not waste everybody's time. But yeah. King Koopa. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Yeah. <laughs> yes, Dennis Hopper's Bowser, yes. <laughs> anyway. Uh... Be careful. <laughs> I thought a mortis was going to happen. Mr. The Lazy One, thank you. <laughs> she was not careful. Also, I'm trying to I'm trying to parse this. Does this mean that, see, this is one of the reasons why the, this, this format is troubling because does this mean that this happened, but at the end she clearly turns into a doll? I'm assuming that this is a metaphor and this didn't literally happen, but I'm also confused as to that uh, as <laughs> if I figure out what this means, I'll be the first. Well, that's kind of the problem, you know. It's the mark of a... I will shut up. Koopa looking ass. Hi. Oh no! The third wall! Where did it go? Fourth wall. What the fuck am I talking about? <laughs> Damn it. Did I break it? I see you. Flippy flat, uh, flippy app. I was, I was thinking that they would do that exact damn thing. I, I seriously like, I do not trust. I do not trust the developers to basically, kind of. It seems like what they're tr what they're getting at is, is so vague at the, to begin with that. 
they might feel like they have to just explain it in excruciating detail, whether that's in the game or outside of it. Like, I, if people aren't getting it, you know, they might feel like, oh, that's on the players. Uh, people aren't, you know, people aren't looking into it enough. But, you know, there's, there's a, that's a two-way street because it's also like, well, I mean, were the, was the art that you made like evocative enough? in a specific way for people to take what you wanted them to take out of it. Also, there's the whole problem of people are going to take out of what, out of it, what they want, no matter what. So you might as well just let them do that. And but, uh, that's a blessing and a curse. So that's kind of what I said before. So anyway, all right, it's this shit again. Can I go back there? Cause I want to, I want to see if I can do that differently. Scene eleven B, take two. <laughs> the music's back. <laughs> Scene 11B, take oh, two. music, I missed you. You don't know what a, what you have until it's gone. Action. What are you doing here? I just came to pick up some things. Saw the police tape. My fingerprints are all over this place anyway. Not to mention my ass prints and tit prints. Is there such a thing as an ass print? You came to pick up what? Stuff that I made before they put his name on it. <laughs> Is there such a thing the as an ass print? Theme. <laughs> he didn't like being looked at. I love the idea of the, the creators, like Sam Barlow, popping up. And I don't mean to ascribe all of the game onto one specific person. It's just that he wrote it and he's kind of like the name that's following all these games it's kind of like music can you calm down for a goddamn minute anyway it's just like you know he's kind of the you know the auteur thing is kind of happening here but i digress it's just like god <laughs> it would be fucking hilarious if his face just popped up every now and then and was like theme this is the theme hey this is the theme. Watch, watch it. It's the theme. Theme happening now. Apples and snakes. Christianity, good, evil. Theme. I said my work was amateur. Is that what he was working on before he died? He was trying to reduce my face to pure form. He painted over each line 50 times to remove any meaning from it. Spicy Minton, you just said something beautiful. The Spicy Minton said, the thing is, this isn't art, it's just art shaped. Now, I disagree that this isn't art. I think that it's good to point out that art can be art and be bad art. I don't think that this is necessarily bad in the way that like the medium is. The medium is like toxic. It's 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 evil i guess is what i would say maybe that's i don't know I, i'm i'm you know oh seesawing on whether or not to go like really for the jugular but whatever i'll, I'll talk about that later bad i mean bad in the way that like it's bad for you it's bad for us it's teaching bad lessons you know this i would say that it's art just because it's it, it's trying to do something it's it's trying to say something and that that should not be discounted thank you glitchy San, uh, uh, sandsicle for uh, the follow um but yeah it i love the idea that something is art shaped like it's <laughs> you're because that's exact you nailed it like that's exactly how i feel about this it's art shaped it's like i it, it's art shaped in a way that's preventing me from seeing the art i guess it's so covered in its own sort of idea of what art is that it it's not saying anything to me. 
It's kind of getting messed up in flowery language. And that's, you know, I personally, yeah, that's a problem for me. Anyway, it's uh, pretentious is one way to put it. Yes, blatherpuss, you're correct. Um, I, I hesitate to say it's pretentious um, because that carries a different connotation. I, I don't like... I don't know. Fuck it, man. It is. It is. At least from what I'm seeing right now, it's just like, holy shit. You don't. It's just whatever. I've said too much. Let's keep going. Load word. <laughs> Essence of Franny. Just lines and colors. You liked my lines. But all the rest was a distraction. So I can't is this just a hint? Do I just keep doing it until it like lets me in? Because that's what I did last time and it was fine. All the rest was a distraction. All right, I'm just gonna assume that it wants me to click on the signature. Someone here already knows you're dead. Dial M for Minsky. <laughs> Dude, my mom loved those books. The Dial M for Murder shit. Uh, I, I actually, she listened to books on tape while she was like driving me around uh, when I was a kid. And so I actually know a bunch of those. <laughs> I actually like listened to the, a bunch of those. What? What? Okay. What is, <laughs> what is happening? I really wish that I could see the achievements because I don't know what the hell. Anyway, uh, oh yeah, we need to watch this. It happened again. Change? Buy your brother a shirt. All right, all right. Where is the cat? Where did the cat go? God damn it! Lord Smaff, yeah, we're, we're we have rapidly approached the the achievement unlocked. <laughs> you found the art. <laughs> Fat for all. <laughs> I was not expecting it. I think you're the first person to use the just general uh text to speech alert so thank you very much and uh yeah we did we did it achievement unlocked we got that art uh where the hell where is the cat So at least that was one thing that um I'll sort by this maybe that'll help. Definitely help me see that guy's bloody bloody cock. Okay. I guess we're on to something. Yeah, midsummer. Midsummer happened. Where is All right, is this something? Yes.
<laughs> you guys are having a bunch of fun, aren't you? <laughs> Here we go again. <laughs> Y'all ready for art? Candles, maybe? Why are there two? It's so weird. At this point, you fucked Marissa a lot. She just told you she's the killer, so this room will be fairly somber. Scouting for Goodman's apartment. This is the bedroom. Right. So we we'll start with that. Hello, you say. Hi, music. How you doing? You doing good? I hope you're doing good. I hope you're doing great. All right, I'm about to I'm about to hit y'all up for that uh, that hint. Good music for this. I can't click a C stand, but I can click a friggin' light. stuff is happening here and I should pay attention to it because that's a problem with this it's like okay I think I get how you're trying to you're you're floating me in this direction of like okay you want me to infer these things but you also have a mechanic in the game where it's like overtly telling me like kind of hey here look at this with the the vacuum cleaner sound and then I look at it and now I'm like, okay, well, that's the thing I'm supposed to be looking for. So now I'm like not watching the scenes and it's just like, okay, well, where, where's that sound? I'm going to, I'm going to reverse all these clips until I hear that sound, you know? That out. Yeah, the script says I hold her hand, right? Exactly. When I do that, is it like a boyfriend, girlfriend? Is it like a parent dragging a naughty child out there? Can I put my hand out for you to hold? Right. I'm the provocateur. I like that. That's right. I'll see you at the station tomorrow. You got this, right? I am ready to wake up from this dream. I like it. All right, we want to amp up the coziness as much as we can. We're about to hit him with a good bit of apartment sequence. <laughs> Rose Terror. Rose Terror. Rose T. Rabbits. Just Minsky. Hey, uh, do y'all know about Minsky? Minsky. All righty. Jesus Christ. Where is the cat? Where's the fucking cat? Where is the oh, cat? Yes! Yes, yes, yes. Cat, 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 cat. Give me the cat. I need a cat right now. I need emotional support animal. Cat. Cat! Come on. Yeah! 
Cat! Woo! Cat, 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 cat! What? Here's my wallet. Um, you can use my card, but uh, just don't spend over 200 bucks because it'll go over the limit. I'll behave. <laughs> Let's swap phones, too. Christina Campbell, thought you had it changed. I did, I just didn't update my license yet. Mm. Maybe you're younger than you too. Gary was wrong about us being long Ding lost Ding Wah, <laughs> you're so, so, you're so nice. You gifted uh, five subs to people. Nice. Thank you very much. Got her food all set up over here. Just one scoop in the morning and one at That's night. Super um, nice. She likes to have a little tuna water mixed in. If you have a can open. For cat. <laughs> I can show you how to run the dishwasher. I know how to run a dishwasher. <laughs> Bioapple, I think it might have. Um, well, my neighbor across the courtyard is Dorothy. She's super sweet. She'll let you into the complex if you forget your key. There's a good noodle place downstairs. Oh, and if... Uh I, I need context for this. What the hell is happening? I'm assuming that these people are... Well, I mean, it's... The music is telling me. Scene 27, rehearsal. Welcome to Marvelous Naomi. You will be this movie's ghost. You are Marissa's shadow and reflection. I'm a stand-in. <laughs> More than that. When I'm acting, I always have ideas for my scene partner. Here, I can use them. Hmm. Give me something to play with. Okay. Just let me know if there's something special you want me to do. Ready? Naomi and Maria. Action. Heather lets Maria into her apartment. <laughs> Maria wheels a roller bag. They're both wearing the exact same clothes. <laughs> Welcome to your apartment for the next two days. Oh, your place is so cozy. Thank you. How long have you lived here? Five years. Yeah, ever since I moved to L.A. When I was a kid, I always wanted to live in Hollywood, and now here I am. Here you are. <laughs> right, so I packed you everything that you should need. Don't worry about any of it having ever been worn while brand new. They should dress you for the event when you get there. And here is my wallet. So if you want to buy anything, just put it on my card. Okay, great. <laughs> Hang on, Raptor Rama 7. The cat wanted to get out of this oh, game. Oh, your place is so cute. Oh my god, your bed. Oh, that would be hilarious if you click the cat and then the game closed. I always do, even on vacation. You know they have people in hotels that can do that for you. I know, I just, I can't help it. It's how I start my day. Oh, is this my infamous namesake? Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh hi, Maria. You old bitch. You're so pretty. Here's my wallet. Um, oh. You can use my card, but gotcha. uh, just don't spend over two. One scoop in the morning. Hello? Scare them off with this. My dad gave it to me when I moved out here. It's called an ass it's not mark. registered, so you could kill someone with it and they couldn't trace it. Heather. <laughs> I'm my dad's only child. He taught me to never point a gun at someone unless you're prepared to use it. Why would you tell someone that? It's not that rough a neighborhood. I'm just messing with oh. you. Uh, there's a church across the street that starts up every Friday night, but the music... And not that. Uh, I was talking about... Why would you tell someone, like, hey... If you wanted to kill somebody, you could totally get away with it with this gun. <laughs> like this gun? Oh, you showed your face? You showed your face? You know what that means. We're gonna click that shit! Aha! I'm losing my mind. I'm losing my fucking marbles. Did they? A click. <laughs> Vash was taken. Did, did, y'all, y'all, did Sam Barlow really make a game with the same fucking twist? Are you for real right now? <laughs> Is that really what just happened? Are we really talking? Like, I was getting hints of it earlier, but I was like, no. Like, what? I am I am crossing my fingers 
that that was just the movie that that was just for the movie and that it is also like kind of his evolution of the way that he's talking about the narrative of kind of a metatextual thing of with how he's progressing with the narrative of his games but if the twist involves a stand-in taking over the life of the person that she was standing in for i'm i'm legitimate i'm 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 gonna jump. I'm gonna jump. I'm gonna jump into a wall. <laughs> I'm gonna jump right into a fucking wall. <laughs> what the fuck, man? Cut. Check the gate. We'll move over to That's the premise of what the okay, yeah. Uh official Hayden Bob, I wish you would step down from the ledge, my friend. <laughs> You could cut ties with all the lies that you've been living in. How many apples have we gone through today? You like the whole basket. And if you ever want to be my friend, then you would understand. Oh, wait, no. I forget. The third eye blind escapes me at the moment. I'm, I'm going through a lot. <laughs> all right, maybe this dude? What up, man? Oh, hell yeah! Oh, it's like the it's in the game. It's Black Swan. Get it. Scene 11, Alpha, take three. Action. Raphael, what the fuck with the suit? I told you that hair and makeup would be less fleeting for the show. Acting. Was there a, a chicken wing in that? <laughs> was there a... <laughs> just, a just a little, just a little, just a little chicken wing. That's you. Get it? Nobody can copy you, but they're copying it right now. Theme! We found it. We found the theme. We can stop now. <laughs> And inside your core being is what we are capturing. You real, Maria? See, that's one of the things that is just like this. It feels like, uh, you know, going back to the art-shaped thing. Theme. 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 If it really feels like going back to the art-shaped thing, it's like. It's a problem because like inside of this story, like taking it as it is right now, like this story itself on its own, that feels bad. It feels rote. It feels, it feels overt, like overtly telling us what we need to know. Um, sl slapping us over the, over the head with it. Um, Whereas normally you would read into that kind of thing. Like you don't need to explain like, you know, the concept of, you know, you know, uh, kind of the individual being erased 
when you've got, literally got someone doing mocap and there, it's like, I like the idea of saying, oh, you know, that you can't copy that and then duplicating it at the same time and just kind of leaving it as it is like we can read into that. But then he keeps going and it's like, OK, but here's the problem is that Sam Barlow has figured out a way to make it not 100 percent rote and, and uh, overt because he's couching it inside of a story and making it like, no, you don't understand. It's written badly because it's supposed to be written badly. It's bad on purpose. <laughs> and I don't like that <laughs> because it's like, I can't tell if like what you're doing, you're just bad at it. <laughs> like, or like, I, I don't, I, it feels mean to say it really does. And I don't like saying it, but at the same time, it's like, it's how I feel, man. <laughs> like I, th it's bad. It makes me cringe inside. My heart cringes a little bit, or maybe that's a heart palpitation. I don't know. I drink more water, but like, it just feels that it's like, oh man, could you not figure out it's inelegant, I guess. And it's just like, he's, he's figured out a way of being like, no, it's inelegant on purpose. Like, it, it's just, I don't, I don't know, man. I don't know. And it was all a dream. <laughs> a little link attack 21. Yeah. Blatherpuss. Bob Stein. <laughs> yeah. No trust. Blatherpuss. You nailed it. Yeah. No trust for the audience. None. I fought for all immortality is captured in film, etc. The opposite of camp. Yes. Yes. Camp on purpose. It's like if you took a game like, um, homecoming, Silent Hill Homecoming, and it was just like, you know, it is, it's a fucking goofy, dumbass game. It's just dumb. And, but you weren't okay with it just being like that. And so you had to couch it in like, no, the game is about making the game. So now it being dumb serves a larger purpose. And it's like, nah, man, <laughs> like, at least in that context, I can provably point at it and be like, nah, man, that's just dumb <laughs> because it exists outside of any other meta commentary you have for it. Whereas this, it's like, oh, well, the movies don't exist on their own. So, you know, they can't be dumb without any, um, extraneous stuff. Anyway, by the post, that's not how that works. <laughs> Uh, Lemon Wedgworth. Also, the sexy nun movie is based on the actual gothic novel called The Monk. The scene where Matilda asks him to have sex with her before she dies is in that book. I highly doubt she said, fuck me into heaven. <laughs> Kalathra, I like how you explaining this game was me trying to desperately explain Evangelion to a friend who didn't like the first few episodes. But that's, Kalathra, that is, that is an, there is an important distinction, and I'm sure you know it which is Evangelion is earnest. Evangelion wears its heart on its sleeve and it doesn't give, it, it, it knows that what it's doing is for a larger, like it, it's, it's so, it's so hard to do this right. Like what this is, because it's, it, it's all about nuance. It's all about reading into it and whether I can just uh, honestly on a gut feeling, just whether I feel like you're being earnest with your, with this, like whether I feel whether you are communicating to me, like you're not faking it. Like you're not like you legitimately want to f like, you want me to feel something. Whereas th this is uh, Evangelion was all about like, I feel, I feel a certain way and I want you to have empathy and I want you to feel what I'm feeling and I want to express myself. This has that, it has that where it's like, look, I want you to feel something, but the thing that it doesn't have is that earnestness. It doesn't, it, at every step of the way, it's like kind of wrapping itself in this blanket of like half sincere insincerity. It's, it's like, I, you're misdirecting me constantly. Like, where am I supposed, to, what am I supposed to be feeling? Where am I supposed to be? And when I feel something, it, the fucking music kicks up and it's like, oh, well, I guess I shouldn't feel a certain way. Cause when I felt like I was earnestly like investigating stuff, 
suddenly the kook, the kooky like oh, lo oh love theme music popped up and i'm like I am i supposed to feel like uh these characters are falling in love like what the what the fuck <laughs> like what and then uh, it's it's all over the place it, it i am i am consistently out of sync with this game i am consistently not feeling what i feel like the game wants me to feel and when it and it's a problem that happens a lot in like horror games too where it's like oh you should be scared but i'm laughing my ass off and it's like i sometimes like that can be used to a great effect but in this case yeah i just uh, anyway um anyway what are people saying i've been talking for a while uh wait didn't evangelion cross over with pubg <laughs> Is there an Evangelion, uh, Evangelion in, um, is any Evangelion stuff in, uh, Fortnite yet? It has to be, right? Link Attack, Evangelion also has a, uh, modicum of trust in the audience engaging with it. Absolutely. That is a major part of it. And that's probably what's, what I'm talking about when I'm talking about like earnestness. Like, like, I, I, I feel like you, you know, if I, if you're kind of guiding my hand through this, I don't feel like, you know, you trust me enough to come to my own conclusions about what you're trying to say. And if you're forcing me, if you're if, to feel specific ways about this stuff, then I can't, you know, I, I, that message of whether you're sincere or not gets muddled. I guess that's what I'm trying to say. Anyway, um, I've been talking for too long. Let's keep going. eyes on Maria, even when you're walking away. Do you want me to talk while walking backwards? No, Patrick, no, I'll talk. But you need to know what I mean. Alright, let's try to get inside of this. So, can I click that red light? Dang it. Fine. I lied about burning her letters. I told Minsky I did, but I kept them. Wanted to preserve her voice for posterity. What's in them? She loved him. She begged him to take her back. But she also remembered the bad stuff. She gave a necklace he made her as a gift to a friend. See, that's another thing. I feel like this game just does not respect my time. It's really frustrating because it's like, oh, look, I should click her. It's really frustrating because like, oh, okay, so I'm watching these clips and I don't know what I'm seeing. And then I have to get to a point where suddenly I'm given the context to know or infer what is actually happening. And then I have to watch everything over again in order to get it, which is just like, fuck, man. I didn't like watching it the first time. Why are you making me watch it twice? I, don't, I hate being so bad on this man uh, it's it's it really sucks i oh whatever i i feel how i feel fuck it i'm gonna eat a twix Hey, I think we need to no, take a no, break. No, 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 no. She gasps, scrambles around, reaches. The gold mic is still under the bed. Hand reaching there, Mike. Did you kill her? Why do you fucking care? No, I didn't kill her. My wife did. She put you up to this, didn't she? She's a clever one. Normally she has her boys do her dirty work. Sending you is a novel twist. Never thought she'd hurt me, though. Where is this she? guy fucking sucks at acting. Where is she right now? She's probably up on the roof, swimming in the pool where she killed that bitch Maria. <laughs> okay. I'll, I'll give you anything you want. You can't give me what I want. <laughs> Hey, 
Hey, are you okay? Uh, Vash was taken. I laughed while I was eating the Twix because of what Vash said. I don't know what is uh, what I've been seeing since I joined the stream, and I am too scared to ask at this point. I, I just can't get enough. You're fantastic. Mm -hmm. Thank you. This is also one of those games. I'm just going to say it. This is one of those games that's hard to talk about because um, I feel like there is a certain air of like pretentiousness about like you know, what the game is doing, what the themes are, you know, and I've seen this happen firsthand actually, where some people who are like involved in the project kind of talk a little bit more openly about the themes and like the meanings behind what the game is to people who aren't like inside of the process. And so those people will go out and be like, Hey, you, if you didn't get it, you know what? Maybe you should use your head more. It's like there's this kind of like, I mean, it's 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 per, a contagious pretentiousness where people are just like, you know, um, being like, oh, if you didn't get the, if you didn't like the game, then you're dumb. You're just you're just stupid, <laughs> because you know only smart people would be able to get what's going on, and like maybe there's a certain level of projection that's going on there. You know, I'm, I wouldn't be, you know, the first person to, uh, you know, <laughs> uh, have that happen. But, um, it also feels like it's rough to talk about. It's hard to talk about this because like, what if I, what if I get it wrong? What if I say the wrong thing? Like for certain games, it's like pretty fucking obvious, like what it is, which is one of the reasons why the medium like fucked me up so hard because it was just like, this is brutally fucking obvious to everybody involved, like what this is saying and how it's saying it. But this, it's like, you could take a lot from what's happened so far. It, it feels like it's saying a little bit of everything right now. And I don't know, maybe I just keep need to keep going. Maybe it hasn't really nailed the, 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 the theme. There are many th sub themes, but the theme hasn't happened yet. Anyway, let's read. Badwig. Yep. Extreme bad Badwig. Excuse me. Oh, who's going to bed? Uh, Lord Smaff. Lord Smaff just said good night. Whoever went to bed, good night. Um, uh, Blatherpuss says Bluer. Bluer. It's a <laughs> Durkism, Durkism. It's a game about posers for posers. That's all this is. <laughs> Buddy Bashful, 93 viewers are desperately trying to parse this. <laughs> Cutosphere, it's 4 a.m. Go to bed. What What are you doing? Go to bed. Good night. You have a good one. I'm going to keep playing this until it ends me. <laughs> um, hey, oh, Cutosphere, before you go, um, I was curious. Um, do you think I'm on the right track? Do you think I'll be able to, be able to figure this out or have I been kind of circling the drain? There's got to be a car chase. I'm circling a little bit. Hey, Cutosphere, give give me a little nudge. Give me give me just a little nudge. Kalothra, it's 4 a.m. here too, but I'm too awake to go to sleep. I'm in it for the long haul. <laughs> All right. Well, for the sake of, for everybody's sake, I wanna I wanna kind of yeah. Let's let's rush this up. The way you interact with the ghosts is nothing to do with clicking. I thought so. I mean, I, I kind of knew that. Let me go ahead and try it again. I'm gonna try and I'm gonna try and nail it. Nothing to do with clicking. John. 
What is happening? Jalen. Right. Jalen. Marissa. Oh, wait a minute. I think I might have. Maybe it's the audio cue. Maybe when the audio cue happens, maybe I hit forward. No, I keep double, double tapping, my bad. I need to hear that. Dang it. Let's go all the way. No? What the hell? Yeah. <laughs> looks like the dad from Gordy's home. Damn it. I don't think it has anything to do with favoriting the clips. I heard it. And I went forward. Do I pause it? Wait, it has nothing to do with. What did what did Keter Sphere say? Nothing to do with pausing. God damn it. What the fuck? I don't. I don't know. I don't know. I'm trying. I'm also trying to figure out like why. There's the music again. Why? Why did sometimes I'm really excited about this. I got it like on accident, you know? Like what this movie we're making together. Figured it out. Oh. <laughs> Humanity by telling them the greatest story. How much of it do I remember? 
actually remember how much has been eroded by the retail. I remember the pain. Well, the performance of it. If what you fear the most is death and pain, we wanted to create the purest image of that. The other one was there. Later they made two Marys, but there was really only one. I remember the time in the cave. I was dead, but the past? The ascension was left to their imagination. Okay. I didn't go anywhere. That's a but Lemon Wedgeworth, yeah, I, uh... <laughs> ah. Theme? All right, let's find more now that we know how to do it. Uh, was this one? Oh, that's who this guy reminds me of. The guy from, uh, 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 fucking Tommy was out the room. This reminds me of, uh, uh, <laughs> Mark. <laughs> It's Mark. It's Greg Sestero. Yeah, it's just, yeah, it's absolutely Mark. Oh, hi, Mark. <laughs> what? Now we come to this. Okay. Wow, this is long as fuck. Holy shit. Oh my god. Fucking Morbius over here. <laughs> that's interesting. I can't tell if that's a glitch with the game. I almost called it a movie. Or what's... So it just stops there? Alright, we're listening for the... For the... The vacuum cleaner. Alright? Y'all yell at me when you hear it. If I miss it. Damn, a movie glitch. <laughs> You know, a couple movies had that, like um, uh, Fight Club and uh, The Exorcist. These movie glitches. Oh my god. Could it be a theme? A theme? You can skip to the end with the circle. Ah, oh, yeah, you're right. Chivo unlocked. Theme. <laughs> he did it again. <laughs> yeah, I love my Chivo. Oh, that's a good idea. That's a really good idea. Oh, Fat For All, you just gave me an immaculate idea. I, uh, I'll, I'll fake a, uh, an Xbox achievement, uh, and <laughs> I'll make whatever you write into the chat pop up. Yeah, yeah, I'll do that. Yeah, fuck, that's awesome. I know what oral sex is. <laughs> theme <laughs> it's a fucking theme it's right there it's right there it's the theme guys it, we found it there it is that's the thumbnail she's sucking I know what oral sex is <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're listening for it now. Okay. 
pushes her face into the bed as he thrusts. His movements are desperate, violent. His eyes are empty. <laughs> Rolls of material, eyes still empty. Matilda turns her head up from the bed, side eyes the monk. Father of mercies, through the death and resurrection of his son has reconciled the world to himself and sent the Holy Spirit amongst us for the forgiveness of sin. Through the ministry of the church, may God give you pardon and peace, and I absolve you of your sins. Well, I need a cigarette. Back in ten? Well, I need a cigarette. I wonder what you should click on. Also, I have seen a lot of titties. I haven't seen a single dick. Shame. Shame. I want why is everyone? Cigarette. <laughs> Frontline caster. When, when are we going to see his morph? <laughs> it's more of a time. I'm losing my fucking mind. Action. <sighs> We're okay going without him. Shaggy. <laughs> You know, it, it occurs to me that I'm doing the thing, and I'm not doing it because I'm streaming. I'm doing it because I earnestly just, I want to get to the point, you know? And I'm doing the thing that I normally find myself chastising myself for when I do it with like podcasts and other things, like fast forwarding, you know? I'm, just, I'm blasting through it because what the kind of thrust for this is, it's very like, where I need, I need the info, you know? Because of the gamification of this, I'm no longer experiencing these scenes for what they are. I'm not letting them play out because I'm desperately searching for the key that will unlock the next thing that will progress the story. So I'm not letting it flow because I can control the speed at, uh, my, uh, I get the information and why would anyone want to <laughs> watch all the fucking music god damn it shut up i holy ah uh, getting mad <laughs> but does she have a reflection in the pool yeah she does um the music swells <laughs> fat for all god damn it anyway i just it, it's it's like the game is training me to like no 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 you you get past the, this is all bullshit this is all bullshit like just fucking fly th look you're looking for a specific thing and once you know that you're looking for a thing you don't have to spend any more time or like watching this shit just 
Fast forward all the way to the end. And then rewind it. And look for that. <laughs> okay. Can you, like, not right now? Come on. Nope. There we go. What? Damn it. There we go. How did I do that the first time? How did that happen? I did the opposite. That's my bad. Part of being human was aiming. It was not my intention to take a muse as a lover, but I found myself repeating that pattern. Amy has very little of me apart from my brilliance. What was going on with the frame rate? Through her, I wanted to engage with the pressures that shape our art. But Amy only felt alive when she was playing a part. I wanted to help her surpass herself. But each movie we made was less good. The other one had always said that the human story is always a crime. And I started to feel that every time I looked at it. Hi, music. I missed you. Music, you good? The other one. Human story is always a crime. And I started to feel that every time I looked at Amy. Okay, that's not true, but uh, I'll, yeah, okay. Sure. Music, what is, <laughs> are you okay? <laughs> what the fuck? When I woke the last time, I was in the chaos. I was weak. Oh, Triforce Tron, thank you very much. I had more luck holding down frame rewind to pop in. Okay, cool. All right, thank you. I walked down through the villages. I found her in a field. Wait, what's happening? When I woke the last time, I was in the chaos. I was weak and confused. When I walked down through the villages, I found her in a field. She was still alive. She was beautiful. The choice was made for me. She wanted to know what I was. It was an ocean. I took her into a farmhouse and devoured her. Her memories are still in here. She hadn't seen much of life, so the horrors of her last years dominated. She hadn't yet. And! And! She loved the woods. <laughs> Could you give that patch to the guy you lay? From Lancaster. Brother's back. In English, it's called uh, Robin Round the Hedge or Sticky Willow or Goose Grass, Cleavers. Fucking what? Meal what are you? Crepe avec Angie. <laughs> Cream and poutine. Ma'am, this is a Wendy's. <laughs> Although I don't feel hunger, I still crave them from time to time. <laughs> Metaphor.
smack! <laughs> And then the little rabbit ran into the woods, scared because of the fox chasing after it. But little did the rabbit know that she did not fear the fox. Because the <laughs> What is this? <laughs> what the fuck is happening? I'm losing my mind, okay? Ah. <sighs> <laughs> fucking... ah! Also, I'm gonna just assume that there's some significance to holding it upside down and then flipping it. <laughs> Video Cemetery, thank you very much for the Prime sub. I love, I love your name. It is such a good name. All right, let's keep going. All right, so let's try that thing. So like, that didn't work. I don't even know how you're supposed to How does this work? Okay, so hold the button down. Oh. It does work, it just doesn't do it immediately. That's really helpful. So just hold it down and then it'll eventually start. Perfect. When I woke the last Perfect. Time I was Thank you. That was we. Okay, yeah, we got it, we got it. Found her in the field. Are you an angel? Devoured her. Goose grass, whatever. Um. Whatever. This is the dress, right? And hand. Hand! Right, scene 14, Marissa reading for Susie's part. We cut the interrogation room, pieces of photocopy diary, pages stuck to the wall behind Goodman. Frankie Santora. What? Oh, what? No, I didn't. Maybe I did. Spacebar got me again. Rip, rip to me. You think Andrew had something to do with Maria's death? Uh, I don't care. <laughs> Oh no! What the fuck happened? Did she get shot? VIP. <laughs> she allergic to the wigs? What the hell? Hold on. Hold on. Was it forward? Hold on. 
four green wines. forward. Be careful. <laughs> I'll be careful, Tattletail. You don't worry your pretty little head about it. What the? There we go. Wait, what? I do that wrong? So back. Does this happen with all of them? Where you can go back and forth? Did I just miss that? Heavy is the head that wears the wig, <laughs> Bio Apple. <laughs> Uh, rainy day, Jules, we're going to have to read the, that, uh, synopsis. I am very interested in what, um, people think this, this game is going for. Um, yeah, oh, you can go back and forth. Okay, cool. Works for me. Did this one have anything in it? one you know what let's go to the yeah this guy what's up ma'am <laughs> i'm excited and nervous i want to justify mr fisher's casting me First day of filming. How do you feel? I'm excited and nervous. I want to justify Mr. Fisher's casting me. This is such an incredible opportunity, and Matilda is such a challenging character. And I knew to cast the role that I should look for someone new, someone young and exciting. And, uh, when I saw Marissa, I had the idea to cast for Rosario and to then sculpt her into Matilda. And there are many actresses who can play the temptress, but... Um, this character is so special because she takes the form of an innocent. When I saw Miss Marcel, she had a spark. I see great things for her future. And how does it feel to be sculpted by Fisher? It's a great honor. Cool. Oh, man. I swear to God. The Great War. It wasn't hard to see it coming. Yeah, Remy Reedy. Ah! <laughs> Official Aiden. <laughs> to profit from the dark times. Ride the chaos. But it's dangerous. It's the rebirth that follows that's more vital. A little smooch. <laughs> to sleep through a great war and wake to the end of another. The whole planet will scream. So, I'm just going to throw it out there. Um, uh, King Koopa over here um, probably represents a muse, right? Like the the orgy thing that was all that was all the different muses. She seems like 
that seems to be the thing. <laughs> Frontline caster. Fuck this game. <laughs> yeah, and also, if they're making that director out to be... Um, uh, what was his name? I forgot his name. He's so fucking nothing. Whatever his name was. The, the uh, dude who did all that horrible shit to those women uh that started uh, that kind of sort of started the me too movement i forget his name it starts with the w anyway uh yeah weinstein if um he's supposed to be weinstein-esque and it turns out that you know because yeah i was getting uh, remy i was i was getting the same kind of pervy feel i'm i'm kind of tired of larger folks in movies kind of being portrayed as ski as like skeezy scumbags kind of kind of fucking tired of it <sighs> oh frontline caster he represents the old studio system kind of perv there you go so i don't know if that's just your thoughts on it or if that's actually like official or whatever but yeah, anyway keep forgetting Is this music really appropriate for this moment? Click on her ear. Or her head? Her entire head. Alright. There's a chain. It's very visible if you sat outside of it. Arthur Fisher and John Durick were on that chain. Ideas, traditions, technique, organic matter gets passed along. Fisher passed me on to Durick, or Durick took me, or I chose to go, it's hard to say. They both wanted to claim me as theirs. There's a life cycle an artist and it's very important to get the timing right to prune to use one to fertilize another but john it was the first time i put myself into the chain so am i right i'm right right like is that it's kind of it right i can stop <laughs> <laughs> First, Naomi's gonna play. Okay. motherfucker so do you want me to click this dude what the fuck what what is that a glitch content to make more sort of stuff for more than 15 you boys, you're being so macho with each other. Why don't you just make After it? all, yeah, it's possible. There is nothing more cinematic. Yeah, we've already seen this. And... <sighs> Music, can, can you chill? Can you just, can you just kind of calm the fuck down, please. There, there 
there will be makeup on the day. It's fucking sexy. <gasps> Don't we make a great couple? Smile, love. You ever crossed us before, Carl? <laughs> no, sir. He's an apple pie eating football playing California boy. An American classic. I want you to go get a take a test drive for the outfit. Oh yes. How so? <laughs> well, you know, go grab some drinks on uh, Gino's Dollar. Get it? Yeah, let me. Theme. War. It wasn't hard to see it coming. Many did. Then the influenza. <laughs> it's possible to profit from the dark times, ride the chaos, but it's dangerous. It's the rebirth that follows that's more vital. It was a surprise to sleep through a great war and wake to the end of another. The whole planet was screaming. Is this the same one? <laughs> Link attack 21 war war never changes was it this one metaphor that's a no this one maybe Theme! <laughs> yeah, where are the jump scares? So, question. If I click this, does it take me back to that? Round it up! Yeah. Freeze. Bunk that position for the match cut. We have the plate. Cut. La 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 la
do that too many times, it can make you crazy. Okay. Or powerful. A space tiger. Oh, the wig. <laughs> by the beautiful Isabella, 40s, wearing a white blouse and long Shall we uh, get something to eat and then come back and see how we do with Maria? Music's having a go of it. Test read for two of everything. Rest in peace, tell mom dangerous. Too dangerous for everything. Marissa, you'll be reading Maria, and uh, Amy, you'll be reading um, Isabella. John wrote the part for me, so if you need any tips. Heather is you when you were younger, and Maria is you are now. Check into the Oh, This music is absolutely like it has no idea what it wants to do. <laughs> it's like, where are we going with this? What music is too much, Pat? For all you're absolutely correct. <laughs> uh, roast, uh, roast he rabbits. You've stumbled into silly bombast, and that's not a genre you want to be in. <laughs> listening for the audio can't really hear it I ain't got moolah. I love your name. Hey y'all, just managed to join in. Is the game uh, is the game very good or is it very bad? <laughs> oh god. I I paid a dollar for it. 
I just, um, just see pain. In anyone rehearse? I'm in Result? pain. <laughs> I can't click the C stand, can I? God damn it! <sighs> what? Oh my god, I don't care. I don't care. Ladder. La 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 la. Ladder. <laughs> she vanishes. Agree the writer, absolutely. It is frustrating to say the least. This is the one that serves no purpose. Whew, man. <sighs> Anyone got any uh, hints at where I should be going? Because I'm, I'm, I'm circling, man. I'm circling the drain. I'm thinking maybe My I should love. keep going with the student maybe. Like mm -hmm. <laughs> Blood. Fuck Jesus fucking Christ. <laughs> Ding wah, go back to the real star. The cat! Action. <sighs> Is that the cat? Murder. I feel like I should have stumbled across this a while ago. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna shoot him.
Spicy tiger, yeah. Apparently. Okay. Okay, this bug keeps happening where I hit play. And it doesn't play. Ah! Disappointed! Can you... I'm gonna shoot him. Us or them. Do it. You chose them. I chose me. You never want to be done with you. Eyeball. Hold it. Okay, so. Oh, my God. So it's a muse. They're a muse. They're, they're muses, basically. They're the metaphorical representation. Fucking shut up, music. I'm sick of your shit. Uh, you are, you never shut up. And so you, you, you quiet, you shut up. <laughs> um, okay. So kind of what I said, that that's kind of where I'm going with it. Like, I can be your angle or your devil, <laughs> but muse. Yeah. So devouring people, like being devoured by a creative passion, like passion. Um, so I'm using muse as a way of saying it. So these are their sort of manifestations of their artistic needs or wants or endeavors or lusts, I guess. Muses, but also somehow shapeshifters. Well, if you follow Triforce Tron, if you follow the idea that I'm kind of going with through, it's kind of like, okay, um, you can have a shared passion, kind of like you can um, be so like into a project and you can pass along that passion for that project. And it's I'm kind of seeing it like that's like the passion for, you know, her passion is being passed from uh, two different people. That's kind of how I'm I'm seeing it. Um, I'm I'm thinking about it more than Sam Barlow. Um, yeah, that's that's kind of where I'm going. I'm just kind of where I'm going with it. Kuma Boomer Doomer Zoomer. I love your name. That's fantastic. Also, hello. And that is a that is a high frame rate gif you got there. I want a gif like that. Damn. I gotta make gifts. That right, you reminded me actually. I need to work on my gif, my my gif uh, stuff. So anyway, um, Remy Reedy, I think it'd be great if it just turns out to be two aliens. That would be awesome. I would love that. I would love that a lot actually. I I love a good genre twist. Frontline caster, you're genuinely writing a better story than this actually has. Well, if it's aliens, that's a better story. All right, I'm uh, bringing back the music. Intrigued. Oh, all right. Music. The music listened to me, and now I feel bad. <laughs> the music kind of... <laughs> the music, shut up. I'm sorry, music. I didn't mean to hurt your feelings. You can come back. All right. What did that say? Oh, I cut. All right. Oh, eyeball. Ooh, nothing to look at in this scene. That's funny. Oh, 
How are you? I can't breathe. More panic. Thanks, Key. What? Well, I gotta click that. Why do they show that? 41 Abracadabra, take one. Uh, Official Hayden, were you fired from your job because Sam Barlow's uh, games uh, kept ruining your critical thinking skills? <laughs> Call me right now, please. Tell the dude, imagine a game that is just this for about 30 minutes to lure people in the know and then subverts and becomes a, a conspiratorial plot. I'm imagining a game like this. Here's the thing, when you have a game like this, uh, this is very easy to parody. <laughs> you just have to go over the top with the self-seriousness angle and go completely hog wild with the metaphors. And not only can you make a really great parody, you could probably make a better game. <laughs> I'm just saying. Anyway. Uh, Fat for all. Oh my God. The wooden pin was the scene clacker. Oh yeah. That makes sense. That, yeah. That actually makes a lot of sense. I did not, I did not realize that. I'm assuming we should click on the fire. All right. So this guy's dead, huh? Yep. Oh, who's that? It's desires. The more you let them use you, the more brilliant they will think you're acting. <laughs> you don't need to film this. Look. How are y'all doing? Y'all good? <laughs> Who is this? Mori Echo, day three. Ah, Miss Morgana, her robe while we check the gate. What the f Bird. <laughs> Bird. 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 <laughs> Theme. 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 <laughs> Losing my fucking mind. Oh, I'm naked. <laughs> what fucking time is it? Oh, it's only... Christ. Gotta click that bird. <laughs> I wonder what camera they filmed this on. Yeah. It looks like it's film. Give me a real bird. Did the earth move for you too? What?
We tried to elevate humanity by telling them the greatest story. I already saw this. How much of it do I remember? After Oh, you just hold on. That's fine. Oh, my God. There we go. Are we winning? <laughs> yes, son, we are winning. I'm part of you now. Nuh uh. Okay. Am I supposed to rewind you? Oh, okay. Oh, you're crying. So I'm to. Slip meaning or passion, muse. This is the ending of this game. <laughs> she knows the stuff where I cry too. <laughs> Spicy mitten, line. <laughs> Polyester Pimp, you made me... I kind of choked on my spit. I was swallowing my spit. And you did that at the exact right moment. She's crying! Theme! What is wrong with you, Theme? She's sad and you're making jokes? Oh. Oh no! Now she's a, she's a ghost and she's haunting this very room. Jeff! Jeff, no! Don't get possessed, Jeff! Get out of here! Save yourself! My friend! Am I supposed to be doing something? <laughs> did it- did the game break? Okay, uh... Okay. The music has finally taken over. <laughs> yeah! Own the moment, music. Upstage everything that's happening. <laughs> is this... <laughs> Did the game break? What the fuck is happening? <laughs> it broke on the... Oh my god, the credits are supposed to be rolling. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! Oh god! The video game broke, and in the funniest way imaginable! Theme! Theme! It's the theme! It's the theme! 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 It's the theme! Jesus Christ! Baby, that's good. What the fuck? Ah! 
<laughs> what the fuck? It's two of everything. That was the name of the movie. You, you remember that? All right. Uh, oh, hold on. <laughs> I have to do something. Perfect. Perfect. All right, here we go. All right. This song fucking sucks. <laughs> For Doe Beansworth, thank you very much. I have sp I spilled wa I've spilled water everywhere. I I have water all over my chair. My desk. <laughs> hold on, I'm gonna, hold on. Damn it. <laughs> I wanted to fake it like I'm crying, like like my eyes out. Like, this is the fucking best. All right, I'll just do it, fuck it. <clears throat> Guys. We've just... We just played the best game I've ever fucking played ever. I can't stop crying. Uh, uh, it's so good. So much meaning in the themes. <laughs> Fuck. It's so good. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> ah. Hey Barb <clears throat> says Kitty Cafe Catfe. Hey Burb, been a fan of your YouTube vids on the Great Debate. Was curious if you're still working on the Venia video. You bet your ass. <laughs> I'm constantly working on it. It will. Um, um, I'm all wet now. <laughs> I uh, yeah no that's coming. It's it's. I. Um, I will not say anything in, in, because every time I've said something about it, it, something always comes along and ruins my timeline. But know that um, there is a spooky thing, a spooky month um, where I, you know, knock on, knock on metal. I would love to have it ready. Um, but yeah, um, thank you for asking. Thank you for the interest theme. Yes. <clears throat> so, um, for anyone who just joined us, uh, the game fucking broke. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Um, enough fun. Enough fun. We need to talk. We need to talk about what does IMDb say? We got to talk about what the supposed theme of this is. Also, I am just going to reiterate: this is the funniest way that this could have possibly ended. <laughs> this is too, too good. Oh man, no more fun. Also, that song, I need, I must reiterate, that song sucked. Anyway. <clears throat> All right. <clears throat> Galathra, the song sucks compared to White, honestly. Lol. <laughs> Is it back? This is just, this is revenge of the soundtrack. Is This is all I'm hearing. <laughs> all right, who's who's uh, who's gonna be um, the person in chat who's going to spam all of the, uh, the shit that IMDB said about the theme of the game? All right. Thank you, Rainy Day Jewels. I am going 
<clears throat> to read this while the frame is still stuck, <laughs> as you can see. <laughs> All right, here we go. Cluster F bomb. <clears throat> All right, let's do this. Immortality is a full motion video interactive fiction game from Half Mermaid Productions, directed by Sam Barlow, <clears throat> of Her Story and Telling Lies fame, released in August of 2022. It acts as a spiritual successor to the aforementioned games. Kind of caught on to that. Uh, where the player is once again tasked with piecing together a story from a given collection of video clips. So is that on the only thing you mean? Just that it's a spiritual, spiritual successor and that it's got, it shares a format? Whatever. <clears throat> In the year 1968, a young but talented actress named Marissa Marcel is cast by the famous director Alan Fisher in the film Ambrosio, adapted by M.G. Lewis's <clears throat> notorious gothic novel The Monk. In the film, Marcel plays Matilda, an alluring beauty who seduces the pious Ambrosio, Ambrosio after uh, having infiltrated his uh, monastery disguised as a monk. The movie is finished, but never released to the public. Two years later, Marissa Marcel works alongside Ambrosio's director of photography, John Durek, who writes and directs a thriller with Marcel in mind for a starring role for the starring role. Minsky, the film <clears throat> concerns the death of a high profile artist in New York City uh, with Marcel playing uh, the late artist's muse, the prime suspect in the murder. <clears throat> the film is left unfinished and Marcel vanishes from the public eye shortly after production is abandoned. In 1999, John Durek <clears throat> returns to direct the movie <clears throat> Two of Everything once again, casting Marissa Marcel as the lead actress. Marcel, in a comeback from a decades-long hiatus, plays both pop sensation Maria and her body double Heather, who agrees to switch places for a few days to explore one another's lives. Once again, the film is never released, and Marissa Marcel disappears again, this time seemingly for good. <clears throat> Finally, in 2022, these three long-lost movies are rediscovered. Using clips from rehearsal tapes, interviews, behind-the-scenes footage, and the films themselves, can you discover what really happened to the mysterious Marissa Marcel? This game contains examples of <clears throat> Betty and Veronica. Played with in the case of the female leads in Ambrosio, Marissa, Marcel, and Sophia Morgana, the young Marissa has long red hair and an innocent face and reads a Lewis Carroll poem for her audition. Meanwhile, the somewhat older Sophia has short, dark hair, sharper eyebrows, and reads a classic femme fatale monologue for her audition. Yet, the director <clears throat> rather deliberately casts Sophia as the virginal, and yep, yep, I got that from that one clip where she was supposed to be, and then she wasn't, with the, the dove, the hilarious dove scene. Um, complicated matters, uh, matters further <clears throat> in that both Marissa and Sophia end up leaving, uh, having separate affairs behind the scenes with the actor playing Ambrosio. California doubling, an in-universe example <clears throat> with the film Ambrosio being explicitly set in Madrid, Spain, but filmed in Italy. <clears throat> Casting couch. Played with in Minsky, where Marissa, the star, is in a sexual relationship with John, the director, a fact that does not go remarked upon by both uh, by the other actors. <clears throat> John even states directly at one point that he sleeps with all of his stars, because he believes that it's important for him to understand the material he works with. But Marissa and John went in on the project together before they started sleeping together. And, spoiler, John knows that Marissa is uh, secretly an immortal be uh, being who has a fascination with human art. The movie is partly an attempt to please her. What? <laughs> What? <laughs> wait, wait. What? 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 What the fuck? Wait. But they're the same. So it is aliens. <laughs> it is aliens. You, you, it's aliens. 
Alfred Hitchcock. <laughs> Bruh. Theme? <laughs> Bruh. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> Uh, ah, <laughs> ah, <laughs> okay. <laughs> Oops, no, no theme. Wow, they really kind of just made that like a thing. <laughs> okay. Uh, Cluster F bomb, a behind the scenes clip from Minsky has Carl Greenwood reveal that he's never had to say the word fuck on screen before. So Marissa encourages him to practice. That's not how you spell practice. Yeah, that's an S at the end of that, not a C. Where's your C, buddy? Anyway, saying it's so, oh, that's probably the British spelling. Uh, <clears throat> saying it so it sounds more natural. This eventually devolves into Carl and Marissa just saying the word fuck repeatedly. Sure. All right. No, no, no. Practice with an S at the end. Practice and then S-E. Uh, -S so P-R-A-C-T-I-S-E. Yeah. Yeah, spider Hyphen man has got it. Um, crystal ball scheduling all over the place. In both Ambrosio and Minsky, for instance, there is a love triangle between characters that play out in a similar fashion with the actors playing those same characters. Matilda, plagued uh, by Marissa Marcel, is revealed in the climax of Ambrosio to be the, the devil in disguise. Marissa herself is really an immortal being disguised as a human. The other actor who plays Satan and is the same as an immortal as well. That does. Minsky is about an artist who murder, who is murdered by his muse. The one ends up killing Durek after he is horrified by her true form. The one is the name of the, I got that, the the one and the other one, I believe it was, the other something. What the fuck? Yeah, that Lemon Wedgworth, okay, so here's the thing. I'm not reading chat, um, I'm kind of just letting this hit me and it's very funny. <laughs> um, so, uh, fucking, hold on. So, how, so they keep calling her an immortal, right? They keep calling her an immortal. But here's the thing. Didn't the other immortal die? Didn't the one kill the other one in that scene? Like that dude specifically said, you've never watched me die before. Unless it's like he reincarnates in another person. In which case... That kind of undercuts everything in the game <laughs> because it's all just, it, nothing means anything. It's all just fucking magic. <laughs> That's it. Front line caster, Bob, keep reading Bob. Okay. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. Two of everything is about a pop star and her double lives uh, becoming intertwined and complicated. The one who has been living as Durek for two decades suddenly decides to split herself. decides to split herself in two to impersonate Marissa and Durek, which causes a huge strain on her form. D what the fuck did you just send me? What is this bullshit? <laughs> what is this nonsense? What is this absolute insanity? What did you send me? Is all of TV tropes like this? Are they all fucking insane? <laughs> What? I guess she could just do that, which is funny because it's like a Silent Hill thing. It's like splitting yourself into the forums and that's fun. We, <laughs> but like you have a fucking game that at every turn is like, no themes, themes, bro, themes, themes. But like when it comes right down to it, you're, you fucking threw your themes into a UFO and watched it fly to the fucking moon. Like, what? What? Hold on. Hold the fucking phone. 
Twin themes. This is so, you guys were totally right. You were totally right when I was like, yeah, maybe this is like a muse and how it's passed from passion. Uh, passion is passed from one person to the other. That's a way better version. <laughs> it's like interesting. Not it's fucking aliens. Like what the shit? <laughs> what is this? What is this? I'm fucking losing my mind. Deliberate values dissonance. The treatment of the actors, in particular the actresses in Ambrosio and Minsky, is deliberately jarring as part of the game's commentary on filmmaking in the mid-20th century. Director Alan Fisher's comments towards the young women in his cast, including Marissa, who is only 17 when she auditions, are often creepy and sexist. Yep. Likewise, John Durek's sexual relationship with his actors in his films is rarely commented upon. There are multiple scenes in the films depicting sex or sexual assault with no sign. I'm glad we didn't delve too into those um, with no sign on set of an intimacy coordinator's involvement. An important but relatively recently developed role in t film and TV production. Devil in Disguise trope. Marissa Marcel's character in Ambrosio Matilda. Um, appears to be a mortal woman who dabbles in satanic rituals, but is revealed in the final scene to be Lucifer himself, having arisen from hell to tempt the supposedly honorable Ambrosio into wickedness. There's an added layer to this trope in that Marissa Marcel herself is actually an immortal being, a being named The One, disguised as a human her counterpart the other one also disguises himself as an actor who again plays satan in ambrosia it's ambiguous as to the true nature of these two they're more akin to vampires in the way they devour mortals for sustenance or pleasure but appear to be enjoying but appear to enjoy dressing up in the trappings of demons or fallen angels guys this might be a case of we're reading too far into the metaphor. I think, I think, maybe, maybe that I am the whoever wrote this on IMDb was maybe reading like really too far into it. And it's those scenes come across to me as more like they're not real, they take place in an altered version of reality one where like and that's the interesting thing about film you know there's a classic thing um th that said about film i forget where it comes from i think it was a russian director um god i forgot the name of it but it's it's the rule is one plus one equals three it means that you can uh, that the meaning itself is um, it should be taken into account when when you when you combine one scene with another it's not just them not just whatever meaning they have on their surface there's an implication there and i think that that's kind of what was happening in those scenes that the that the that that plus one was being added and we were seeing it like visually like that that meaning was kind of being visualized i guess I don't know about this fucking immortal shit. I don't, this immortal energy vampire bullshit. I don't, I don't, I, I got, guys, I, I just don't, I, I don't, I don't buy it. I think, I think IMDB might be full of shit. <laughs> this, this reeks of like, uh, Silent Hill fans being like, oh no, the, the, the other world is specifically this and it has these rules and there are all these the things and, and no, it's not, um, it's not uh, one world or it's not two worlds or it has to be this, it has to be that. Guys, that's not the point. Like, that's not the, the thing that you're supposed to be focused on. It's <laughs> the not knowing is part of the experience. Like we're trying to nail down things that I don't think we're ever necessarily meant to be nailed down. And, but that's just my basic read. I don't know. I'm, it could be fucking alien energy vampire fucking bullshit. I don't know. I, I, who fucking cares? I honestly, it's funnier that way. That way I don't have to worry about it. It's just like, Oh, it's fucking energy vampires and shit and fucking immortals and shit. I fucking sure. Okay. <laughs> 
uh uh hello first time chatter pale blue dot oh five skip to the last point in the trope page i will do that because you are a new chatter i will do exactly what you request the fourth wall will not protect you at the end of the game the one commits suicide by immolating herself which we saw knowing thanks to the other one that she can return by possessing anyone who watches the footage of her death as in the one the player is watching. Hold on, let me do that again. <laughs> me? Oh! <laughs> ah, I'm haunted, fuck! <laughs> uh, just to drive this further, her final message is, uh, I live on in all of you. We all got haunted. You all got haunted. You're haunted. Now. You're haunted. <laughs> you're haunted. And you're haunted. And you're haunted. You're all haunted. <laughs> you get a ghost. And you get a ghost. BioApple says the more surprising part of that is learning that it wasn't supposed to be an obvious mannequin bait and switch. Yeah. What the fuck was that about? <laughs> So the mannequin was supposed. Okay. All right. I budget. F fuck. Whatever. Whatever. I I'll give him that one. I'll give him. I will. I'll. <laughs> I'll give him that. But no more. <laughs> I draw the line at this fucking insane immortal energy vampire haunt ghost shit. Uh, someone chatting said there's scene, uh, this is from uh, rainy day jewels. Someone chatting said there's scenes that you didn't get that do that get into this lore shit. And I hope they're right. Well, I'll, I'll take your word for it. Cause I ain't fucking touching that game again. <laughs> um, I just shot Marvin in the face, which is a trope an unfortunate, uh, uh case of reckless gun usage on the set of Minsky results in the death of Carl Greenwood when Marissa Marcel accidentally shoots him point blank in the chest, this understandably brings the film and production to a tragic end. Yes, we know that. However, this is subverted by viewing the hidden scene in this clip, which reveals that the one, as Marissa, deliberately shot and killed the other one in Carl's body that appeared to be a horrific accident was actually the culmination of a fight between two feuding immortals. <laughs> This is the dumbest shit I've ever read. <laughs> and of course, I'm not allowed to imply anything. I'm not allowed to, you know, have my own creative interpretation of the events that happened because, oh, oh, no, 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 no. You got to have that written in the game so that people can find it. And hey, you just don't you just don't get it, man, because you haven't seen the clip. So here's the clip of the fucking uh, Sam Barlow's head coming up and saying like, no immortal energy vampire feud on the moon. Goodbye. <laughs> I thought, uh, fuck. I'm, I feel fucked up. <laughs> this game got me fucked up. Y'all the queen's Latin trope. The American Robert Jones decides to give the title character of Ambrosio a Spanish monk, a typical RP English accent, uh, despite the other actors all using their native accents uh, for their respective roles. I, okay. Satanic archetype. The one and the other one. They have been compared to angels, much like Lucifer. Tempt people to get what they want, and their messages can only be found by backmasking. An urban legend straight out of the satanic, sat, satan, satanic panic. What the fuck is backmasking? Backmasking. Subliminal seduction. Oh, so it's just subliminal messaging. And all right, fine, fine. Uh, subliminal. Uh, sh the other trope. The next trope is show within a show. I, we don't need to read that one. Subliminal seduction. 
forms part of the game's secret premise. Reversing the footage at certain points, i.e. when a strange humming noise starts a playing and the controller vibrates. Oops, no controller. Ah. <laughs> uh, reveals new hidden scenes within the footage where a mysterious woman appears to be speaking directly to the player. This is the one and apparently immortal being who is the true identity of Marissa Marcel. So th that's another thing. Okay, so she, okay. Uh, drag off, what is this, Highlander? <laughs> All right, then she cry. Okay, uh, I I got a few... Uh, I got I got something to announce, y'all. I got something to announce. All right, you ready for this? I've been waiting to debut this the entire stream. So I have a new thing that I'm gonna do. Debuting right now. If you call four two four two six two. 8437, which is high Bob vids, <laughs> like that, <laughs> you will now talk to me. So let's talk. Call in. It's now a call in show. <laughs> Call in and we will talk about this game. You can go ahead and give me a ring and tell me what you think. All right, you already got a call. Call from. Uh, Box. <laughs> to accept, press one to send a voice. Hello, uh, Box, you are on the air. Uh, wow, this was really unexpected that I'm the first one on here. Um, just long time listener, first time caller. <laughs> awesome. So, um, what did you think? You only spent a dollar. Okay. That's what I thought. I'm glad you only spent a dollar. I stopped away to watch the Blues Brothers for two and a half hours. Um, <laughs> I feel as if I have missed nothing and got all the story, but thank you very much, Godspeed. Thank you. Thank you for taking your answer off the air. <laughs> you, you won. You won. You won that one. I'll take the L. I took. I'm taking it right now. <laughs> it's a very big L. <laughs> Let's go back to looking at this crying woman, because she's immortal, and you know what happens when you're an immortal? You, you're an energy vampire, or something, and you live on the moon. I don't. I don't know particularly. Anyway, let's go back to the game. Oh, music's still going. <laughs> All right. Uh, we getting any more callers? Go ahead and call when. Uh, uh, go ahead and call H A I Bob Vids, whenever you want. Give me a ring. We can talk live on the air. We've got one caller. That was amazing. Thank you very much for testing out the technology. <laughs> I am not gonna Lemon Wedgeworth. I am not gonna steal your goddamn credit card information. <laughs> It's not 1-800-BOB-VIDS. <laughs> Press two. We got another caller. Hello, you are on the air. Hi, it's, um, hi, wow. <laughs> hi. That was a game, huh? That it was. <laughs> What'd I you think it. of it? <laughs> um, <laughs> very pretentious. Very. Man, I don't know. Oh God! Like it, it's the kind of game that's made by someone who doesn't really want to be making games. You know. I feel that. I feel that. Yeah, it's like they wanted to do something different, but yeah, I get that with it's Barlow. Like, do you feel like he kind of? I got that from the scene with the um the the motion tracking. Right. It was like he wanted yeah. to be in a, like a quote unquote, like last of us or like a, you know, a triple a AAA budget like game. And he was like, Oh, pining for it. And so he wrote that into the game kind yeah. of. Yeah. And like, I just can't get over the wigs. <laughs> the wigs. Like, oh, 
Oh, man. They, they were very bad wigs, which makes me realize, like, man, they did not have that much of a production budget for this. Absolutely and not. it makes me think, like, was this cheaper to make than, like, a web series or some other format? It must be. Yeah. I wonder... I wonder if it would would have worked better as like a web series. That actually, like, that makes sense because you could do like, like a, a found footage thing with the three movies, and then you kind of sort of release the three yeah. movies. Yeah, I like that idea. You I like could, that. Idea. You could make it like a like the channel is on YouTube is named like Marissa Marcel Archive or something. Yeah, so yeah, like yeah. Actually, make it a thing. <laughs> Yeah, you're totally right. That that this this is the kind of thing that would have worked really well in early era YouTube, where it was like yeah. all like like uh, what was it called, Marble Hornets. Yeah, this would this would have worked in the time when people thought the Lizzie Bennet Diaries was real. <laughs> right, right, right. Yeah, yeah, totally, totally. Well, thank you very much for calling in. Uh, we're gonna go thank ahead. Thank you for and... having me. <laughs> Bye. All right. Let's go ahead and get a couple more calls in here. Once again, call in you can call in at H A I Bob Vids. Here we go. Call is, from Sam Barlow. Oh my god. To it's accept, press one. Sam Barlow, is that really you? Oh, I'm glad you heard of me. <laughs> oh boy, have I ever! I just played your you game. See, I, I, well, that's the thing. I just got a notification on my PC. It tells me every time someone finishes one of my games, and wow. it said that you finished. And for some reason, you had like a phone number set up. So I was like, I should give him a call. See what he thought. <laughs> oh, Sam Barlow, you're you're so you're so your your accent is not what I imagined. <laughs> Oh, I get that often. <laughs> Sam, I got to ask you, what, without telling me exactly what your game was about, tell me exactly what your game was about. Okay, so okay. this might be kind of hard to explain, but okay. have you ever heard of aliens? <laughs> yes, I, I am familiar with the concept of aliens. Well, there's something I've always wanted to be seen in film, I mean, video games, and that is immortal aliens living as actors. Oh, my God. See, now that you've spelled it out, so I can me, really... Me, what, did you, what, what did you think about the crying at the end? Uh, I, it should have lasted longer, to be honest. Uh, I could have, like... Well, we had something built in where one out of every 100 people who play the... Game will freeze on the crime. Guess what, man? It happened. Oh, that's fantastic. I, oh. I, I love it. Did you it. get the achievement for it? I, I, I got many achievements. I absolutely got an achievement for basically everything. I got an achievement for crying. I got an achievement for not crying enough. I got an achievement for crying is not enough. And I got an achievement for putting myself in black and white. Well, let me just say, I'm so glad you enjoyed my game. I'm working on my next one. It's about a podcaster who lives forever. <laughs> and uh, unfortunately, I must go, but I hope you have a fantastic night and play the game uh, two more times, please. <laughs> Will do. Thank you, Sam. Thank you very much. Sam Barlow, ladies and gentlemen. That was incredible. I, th I am so happy that I set up this, this phone thing. <laughs> That was, who was that? R whoever, who, tell me who that was. That was immaculate. That was so fucking funny. <laughs> Great game, Sam. That was me. That for all. Oh my God. That was, you, holy shit. That was immaculate. That was perfect. Pitch perfect. Perfect fucking voice. I don't even know if Sam is British, but that was the perfect voice for, voice for him. That was perfect. You nailed it. You're a goddamn hero. <laughs> All right. I think I got maybe another call in me. If anyone wants to give that a whirl, we will go for it. We will talk a little bit more and then we will say good night. Actually, I kind of want to, after the next call, I kind of want to 
see what, like, the game is busted. Like, I'm just going to reiterate that. This game is busted. <laughs> like, something happened. So I want to, like, load it back up and see what the fuck. All righty. All right, if I don't get another call here in, like, the next two minutes, we're going to go ahead and call it. Oh, we got a caller. We got a caller. I'll press two. Hello, caller. You are live on the stream. What is your name and what are you, what is you doing? <laughs> Not a fish. And um, I guess I'm watching this. I think between you and Void Burger, I've watched nine hours of this. So I'm so sorry. <laughs> you know, wasted more of my time in it than you have. <laughs> So let me let me ask you a question. Immortal mm -hmm. energy vampires? You believe it? You think that's it? If only. It'd be a better game. <laughs> oh man. I feel like the the premise of um making art as a form of immortality is such a freebie and it really whiffs it so bad. It's so it, it's, I, I'm, I don't know if you can tell, but I'm, I'm shocked. Like I'm legitimately like I'm taken aback. I thought that this was going to be more like, Hey, this game is open to interpretation. What's going on? You know? Oh, could it be this? Could it be that? I don't know. Mm -hmm. I was not, ex it's like going into a ghost movie thinking it's going to be like, a metaphor uh, kind of like the Baba Duke, you know, where it's like, it's playing with subtext mm. and playing with how it's implementing its metaphor, but going into the, getting into it like that. And then getting, I, I, I don't know. Um, what is even a good reference for this? Like the vampire diaries? I don't know. <laughs> Maybe I think there's like, cause there's sort of a way we make a horror movie where it's like, yeah, here's a central theme, but another way is just what if the fucked up thing happened. Whereas this one isn't really much of a fucked up thing happening. It's just the thing. <laughs> but it's also not an interesting or, um, I guess, open theme. Mm -hmm. You just kind of engage with it at a base level, and that's all it really has to be. Right. All righty. Thank you very much for calling. I hope you have a great mm -hmm. night and thanks for watching. I am so sorry that you watched so much of this game, but I hope it was entertaining. Yeah. Oh, shit. <laughs> Oops, I'm sorry. I hung up on you. I'm uh I'm going ahead and making this poll. Okay. And there you have it, folks. Uh let's go ahead and uh exit this. I'm going to go ahead and switch modes and then check this out yeah baby <laughs> efficient hey so guess what we're done we're out of it we made it pat yourself on the back you did it you made it through the immortal energy vampire game <laughs> I, I, I'm still in shock. I'm still shocked. I, I, I'm, I can't. <laughs> so with that, we're going to go ahead and say good night. And, uh, actually let me real quick. Just want to adjust the filter. Everyone. What did you think of the game? Just tell me, just tell me in the chat real quick. Let me know what you thought of it. Cause at the end of the day, It's not like, it's not, it's not the medium where Martha is dead. And for that, I am, I am thankful. Like, I thank you. Like, oh, there was some real fucked up shit in there. But I don't think that the takeaway was supposed to be anything serious like the, like those games were, or the implication being that, you know, as bad as those games. I think with this one, especially because of the way that it ended, it's not like, I don't know. It's not poison. <laughs> it's, it's good because of the, the thing that we learned, the energy vampire shit. 
it's just goofy to me now. Like, this is homecoming level, like, ridiculous stupidity. <laughs> like, this is just, fuck, fuck, man. Okay. The fact that, you know, it's so pretentious about it is so fucking funny. It's so funny. Oh, my God. Oh, God, Blister, I'm so sorry. Oh, be God, Blister says, God, beans, I just got here. Ah, that sucks. Uh, but, yeah, okay, what we got? Uh, God blister. Yes, this was the Sam Barlow game. You got it. Uh, the Prez uh, record. 12 minutes was probably worse. I... I don't know. Maybe. I think they're both the same level of pretentious, but the thing that kills me about 12 minutes is that the thing that I took away from it wasn't that it, like, it was all about, like incest it wasn't it just that wasn't the point it, the problem though with the game is that the creator didn't realize what that would do to the story and how that would be the only thing that people would take away from it like just having that plot in there because the if to me it's more about the 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 moments of your brain running down a a um basically your brain running away and that's what that game to me was about it was running into an alternate reality where you could be happy at the exp at everyone's expense, at your own expense, at the expense of the people around you and just hiding, you know? But that moment like is fleeting and you will eventually come back to your senses. So to me, that's actually a really nice, like interesting idea for a game, especially that game was executed pretty damn well. Um, if you ask me, like there were some glitches and stuff and that was, that was pretty funny. Um, it didn't glitch out at the credits. <laughs> so, but anyway, uh, your mileage may vary on that one, but, um, but yeah, like that's kind of my, my gut. This game immortality is similarly fucking goofy, but I think actually, no, they're pretty similar, aren't they? And I guess you would be right because 12 minutes did make the fatal flaw of being entirely about like incest <laughs> accidentally because of the inclusion of that and you know and people's takeaway like the thing about 12 minutes is that i don't think a lot of people actually played it until the final 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 ending which means that they didn't get the full context of everything which is frustrating but you know i mean it, that just happens with games i don't i don't hold anyone accountable for that that just happens so anyway uh but yeah uh Oh, Lemon Wedgworth uh, says, and uh, transgender, uh, yeah, I still hate telling lies more. I, I have no idea about telling lies. I have no idea what you all are talking about. Um, Remy, Reddy, uh, Remy Reedy says, like, what did you uh, do that made it say, okay, you got it all, time to end. Yeah, Remy Reedy, you're totally right. Like, the, the thing that, ha that happened with that in this in immortality the thing for me was the credits. <laughs> like I got credits, so I, I'm done. I'm good. <laughs> Which is weird because I didn't pick up any of the of the fucking uh, immortality shit, like the immortal shit, other than like the fucking name. But immortality can be ascribed to many things, not the least of which being like passion. So, like, anyway. Dollar Dude says 12 minutes could have been uh, great up until it's twist. I totally agree with you. Totally agree with you. Um, and that's the other thing you could say about 12 minutes. It's like, is it more of a, I hate to be, I hate to focus on this, but it is, it's kind of worth talking about. Is 12 minutes more of a game than a more immortality? Immortality is, you could execute it probably, uh, well, not entirely, um, but you could probably do it in like YouTube. You could do it in like uh, Vimeo with like, you know, hotspots and shit. And it's like, did it being a game amplify it? And I don't think that it did. Did 12 minutes being a game amplify it? Absolutely. Absolutely. So anyway. Um, so yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Spicy Mitten. Yeah. What caused the credits to run? Oh, I fucked up. I hit the button when I thought I was hit the wrong button i don't know <laughs> i don't know i hit uh i guess i hit enough of the videos for it to show up i guess 
I, got, <laughs> I don't know. Dingwa, yeah, yeah. I did pl replay 12 minutes. I played I played 12 minutes on stream and then I wanted to uh, do a video about it. And so I played it again. So yeah, I'd, I'd load that back up and try it again. Um, uh, Marinora, uh, it 100% could, ju uh, could be just released as videos. Absolutely, yes. I think in a different medium, it would have been forced to make the pacing better. Mm. Yeah. And at least we wouldn't have gotten the glitch and we wouldn't have gotten the music being all over the damn place. Like the music could be you utilized more effectively um, and not be overbearing because in this they had, uh, they had the music playing in like the moments where you're searching for stuff and they couldn't really control like, Oh, okay, well they're at this part of this part, their kind of tone right here needs to be more like uh, inquisitive and like, Oh, uh, they're a detective, you know, so it can't really have like kind of a goofy, uh, fun vibe to it. But, you know, they can't control that. Uh, they can control that when it's like a, a movie or a video. Should have been a web series. Rainy Angels. Yep, 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 yep. Uh, Rum Rusher. Okay, so what would the, uh, would be the speed run of this game? Just uh, get possessed quickly. Yeah, I guess so. Spider Half Man, yeah, I don't recall the music being that bad when VB played it. I something I maybe my copy of the game is just busted. I don't know. I got it from um uh game uh, uh Game Pass for a buck. So I, I don't I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I have no idea. Anyways. All right, y'all. Uh we're winding down. Um Unless anyone else said, oh, we got official Hayden. I applaud Barlow for the effort and drive to tell a tailored story, but it's tough to get across a concise plot when it's possible to miss the story entirely, essentially. Yeah. Yeah, I'd agree with that. Every copy of Immortal is personalized. It says Rum Rusher. Uh... The Prez Rickard says there's probably too much RNG to get a consistent speed run of it. Yeah, probably, yeah. <clears throat> Rainy Day Jewel says, yeah, there's a good story in here somewhere. Yeah. And now, honestly, I think the good story that you get, that you could get, is by playing it like I did and just... just not you can not like you can pur uh, purposefully do it, but missing the the lore shit about the aliens or whatever the, the immortal fucking fuckers. <laughs> you miss that. Suddenly the the be beings become more metaphorical, and that to me would be a better game. Now, if you want it, <laughs> that's the problem though, because that would be a better game, but it would also have the failings that I was mentioning at the beginning of the game, which were, which were basically that everything is like really highfalutin and um, pretentious, um, seemingly on purpose, but not on purpose, but on purpose and that whole thing. At least now it's like, oh, it's just, it's fucking nonsense. It's goofy as shit. Who fucking cares? It's, it's about immortal aliens and it ends with the lady crying in your face and saying that she's possessing you. Like, I love, ah, hey, Opa, <laughs> like, fucking who cares? Screw it. <laughs> Trying to find the cat, Vash was taking. Yep, yep, that's the right way to playing it. Yeah, the moment you find that cat, you win, you just quit. Honestly, a speed run of the game is just, like, you. Know, if you know the ending, you don't need to play the game. So a speed run of the game is opening the game and then immediately closing it. <laughs> Cause you got all the information you need. You quit when you think you, you know what's going on. All righty. Game done. Cat percent time to cat. <laughs> all right, y'all. That's it. Uh, I hope you all had fun. I, I, I did uh, like, I'm not gonna lie that middle part. Holy shit. I was legitimately like, I, I can't, I can't keep doing this. And that's when I was basically like, please help, please help. Give him, give me, give me something. Just, just I'm circling here. Just give me something. And it just, it was so much of that, but then the glitches and the music going insane and the ending being fucking bonkers as hell, bruh, I'll take it. I'll, uh, uh, that's fun as fuck.
Whatever, man. Whatever. <laughs> Official Hayden, what was the theme of the stream? That life is better when you live it with friends. And on that note, we're going to call it. Y'all have a great night. I hope you had a bunch of fun. And uh, yeah, I'll see you next time. Same Bob channel, same Bob time. And uh, catch you later. <laughs>